I'm just saying his speeches would be more interesting on the full moon, right? I mean, theoretically, but I mean, is he an elemental or just part of the water tribe? I would, yeah, I would presume he's just part of the water tribe. See, I was, I was going, I was going for a for a elemental slant, but uh, I mean, what what is Hawaii if not the South Pole of the real world? Um, The South Pole. Yeah, everything. Well, the the Avatar World South Pole is obviously correlated to Hawaii, right? In on Earth, but like, but 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 I feel like that could have just been answered with like a simple like, what's the South Pole equivalency? The South Pole. No, we don't (laughs) don't have we don't have tribes of people who live in Antarctica. Like, that's not a thing. Not count. Penguins aren't people. You know, is the- wow, oh, what the wow. fuck? <laughs> wow. wow. I, I was like, I was like, I'm gonna say this, and it's gonna sound racist as hell. Yes, it is, and I can't believe you walked Penguins right into it. Penguins aren't people. Wow. <laughs> oh, what is that? Species? species? Listen, species. I don't think. Species. I don't think any person who's ever written a dictionary is gonna argue with me on this one. Penguins aren't people. They're no, not. but the internet, the internet will. I, yeah, well, they could argue with me on anything. Club they argue with themselves. Beg to differ. I like how I that's think... more. I like how that's more offensive than us suggesting that. Oh, just <laughs> that that Barack Obama is a Barack Obama is a part of. I think that is the... something. I think that is something we can all come together and agree on, though. Yeah. Yeah. What, my fellow Barack American. Barack Obama was a water elemental. Uh, your blood Barack is Barack Obama is a water bender. But oh, okay. what an elemental became a bender. Water tribe. Uh, my fellow Americans. Uh, I'll have you know. Uh, Say the lie. <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> no, not that the other one. <laughs> Prepare yourself. I'm going to use my bloodbending powers to give you testicular torsion. <laughs> uh, you'll feel a small twist. Man, I hope there's some people in chat and this is their first episode. Because boy, what a feast they're about to do. I mean, at least we didn't swear. You know, I, no, I, I really true. like the Unexpectables. Uh, they, they really get me. Uh, <laughs> chaos uh, control. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm By so the way, you got the kid. So... Go ahead. I was going to say, if you ever wonder what our pregame chats are like, it's basically this. With this is mild, it. Like, worse. Yeah. Mild... Way worse. Way I'm, worse. I'm it's so... way worse. And with some mild, like, hey, let's go over the game, guys. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. And 20 more minutes about Obama, Obama and to we'll to hard poll in chat. Do we, do we do we do we talk about strategy in the upcoming battle of unknown creatures? No, no let's talk about how Barack yeah. Obama's a waterbender. Yeah. <laughs> like a real D&D game, honestly. If you're not talking about random crap before the session, I mean, what are you even doing? You think it's fucking the American people deserve to know the truth before each game. American people need to know the truth. I've been a we, uh, bloodbender all along. <laughs> we, uh, we need to stop the Fire Nation. <laughs> oh, someone just pointed out we had a VeggieTales fanfic in campaign one, so nothing will beat that. That is true. Was that Octo? <laughs> that was Octo, oh, right? Oh, God. Octo had a yes, VeggieTales fanfiction. Yes, that was Octo. He oh, did have a VeggieTales fanfiction. <sighs> Dude, I messaged him recently, and I was like, how are things going? He's like, do you want to see my swords? I'm like, do I? <laughs> and he showed me all his he's, swords. He's... <laughs> He's got like a master sword with like a little a pistol yeah. that lights up when you put. Bro, it's so you will, you will never outgrow liking swords. It's just I, not. Yeah. A I'm I'm thing. sorry, dude. They, they, he showed off the fucking uh, the blood rain uh, tw- dual blades on stream, and I'm like, holy fuck, that is goofy as sin, but metal as fuck. So cool. Yeah, that that master sword. I'm like, can I guess the price? He goes who for it? I guessed it. I got pretty close. I was like five dollars off. But it looks, it's like it's all metal. It's so cool, but. I, I love that Speaking the first. Of... Go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 you go ahead, you go ahead. No, I was just going to say, I love that the first thing that he fucking utters out of his mouth when he walks in with like two fucking like Klingon blades on his fucking wrist. These things suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my lord. All right, Connor, speaking of cool swords, why don't you take us away so we can get into a world of fantasy that has cool Hello. swords. Hello. And violence. Everybody, that is and Obama. true. And Obama. Uh, <laughs> perhaps. Maybe. Uh, come. Uh, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. God I'm sorry. Damn I'm sorry. It. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> 
my god, I'm You dead. have just given Unexpectables me uh, Discord channel <laughs> ammunition. <laughs> to, to a world of wonder, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Unexpectables uh, campaign 2, episode 30. Ooh, 30. Nice. The big 3-0. Oh, the big 3-0. Oh. Uh... Hope you're all having a fantastic evening so far. Uh, let's get right down to brass tacks and uh, introduce ourselves. Gaijin, where do they find you? What are you up to? Uh, uh, dying, because I wish I could impersonate Barack Obama better than everyone. Uh, you can find me twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba. Big stuff happening tomorrow. Unless it sucks, I'm going to be streaming Wild Hearts like all fucking day tomorrow. Uh, it's basically Monster Hunter, except uh, it's Fortnite, am I right, Zoomers? <laughs> uh, no. Anyway, um, it's got a lot of kick-ass mechanics. Uh, I'm really excited about the weapon usage. You're fighting giant monsters just like in Monster Hunter, taking their skin to make weapon of yes. skin. Uh, oh. except it's, except it is so, got, it is more weeb than Monster Hunter Rise. Because this is unofficial Tokiden 3, and I fucking love Tokiden. Um, so I'm really excited about that for very obvious reasons. Uh, I am very excited for, uh, Yaksa, AKA, AKA Ishin Like a Dragon coming out next Tuesday, I believe. That's going to be another massive stream. I have videos planned for both, if not multiple videos for both. I have a lot of shit going on. Boy, howdy. Uh, I also found out that apparently me saying I like tanks and show myself sticking my head out of an M24 does numbers on Twitter. I didn't realize that. So I might lean into that a little bit harder in the coming weeks. So, uh, yeah, lots week, of weak shit, week, lots of good street. Yes. And a week later, Gaijin Goomba legally owned a tank. <laughs> you you joke, but it's Texas. And... I was just gonna say he yeah. lives in Texas. It's entirely yeah. possible. If I could, oh, look, wow. look, if I could if I could get a Stuart, like a like an M5 Stuart, I totally fucking would. Why are we making hypotheticals out of this? That's scary. Yeah, because, there's no if. You absolutely can. Because, because it's they, Texas. Because there's... it costs thousands of dollars and is yeah, cool. but... Do you know how much do you know how much how, how many miles to the gallon a tank like that gets? You don't have to take it anywhere. Just put it in the parking lot of your current place and then it'll become your new house. You don't have to pay rent anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but sure. it has no air conditioning and it's solid metal, Mark. Yeah, but it's a tank, guys. Mark, I have been inside an M24 Chaffee. It's not comfortable, okay? <laughs> It's not supposed to be comfortable. It's a tank. How can I live in it then? Hello, I, neighbor. I'm just hearing a lot of excuses, really. You, you know you know what, though? You should stop giving me excuses about why we don't hang out. Um, You haven't asked Damn. me in like three months. Okay, Mark, when are we going to hang out? Uh, Not this week, because I don't have any time. See, excuses. Which, if you're done with your intro, I'll just, I'll just go, <laughs> go into ahead. mine. Go for it, buddy. Okay, uh, you can find me on Twitter.com at Mark Allen Jr. here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming, and you can follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny on Instagram at Chonk for Life. Uh, I know I said last week maybe streams this week. Um, that was because on Wednesday my schedule was pretty much open this week. Um, by Thursday night it was closed. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately, no streams this week. Uh, I have no free time. Uh, I've had a lot of voiceover sessions already. I have more this week, and I'm doing a lot of directing this week. Um, so it's it's busy, busy days for me. Uh, if there is a stream, it's a big if. There might be one this weekend, but it's a very, very big if. Uh, and it'll be more freeform than my streams usually are, if it happens at all. Uh, so that's why, Gaijin, I can't hang out with you this week. But... Uh, probably not next week either, but maybe the week after we can hang out. And maybe then we'll do a co-stream where we weave it up together. Would you like to be in, like, one place doing that, sitting right next to me? I mean, yes. With, like, a, a camera and, and like, interactivity with, like, an audience and stuff? That'd be dope. Also, would you, would, would, would it encourage you more to come to my place more quickly if I had a tank? Absolutely. Excellent. <laughs> I'll, I'll bear this in mind. I'm gonna go look it up now. How much <laughs> what, a tank is? Well, yeah, we how know much? how much it is. What's the process, right? I don't think there's a law in the books that says you can't own a tank, so I don't know if you need a permit. Uh, $160,000. Well, okay, we'll find a cheaper one. Yeah, buy a tank. <laughs> That's not the, best, not the bottom of the tank Googled, list. Just Googled it. Can you have a tank in Texas? In a military surplus tank, as far as I can tell, there is no law against shelling out cash to buy a tank. See? There you go. 
Uh -huh. But I but I need one hundred and sixty thousand dollars to buy we've that never... tank. We can find a cheaper one. No. I was gonna say we've never had more of a reason to put a donation goal on this stream than never before. Chad, will you donate one hundred and sixty thousand dollars? Put the bucket in and with the label, get Gaijin a tank. <laughs> get Please. Gaijin a tank. It, oh it's God. look, it's just an M five A one Stewart. Like, come oh, on. Yeah. And all just... I'm and all I'm fucking saying is is that I don't think there's a fucking cornered market on YouTube for tanks. <laughs> yeah, you could be Gaijin Tankba. Uh, uh, Tank Jin Gaiba? No, that's not gonna work. I that mean, sounds like we'll a, workshop like a character it. in Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> it does. It does. The All new right. champion from America, Tank Jin Gaiba. <laughs> America. Hey, what's going on? I'm Tank Jin Gaiba. Nice to meet you, Yuki. <laughs> you snake? <laughs> 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 anyway, that's it for me. <laughs> Zeno, where can they find you? <laughs> oh, I don't know anymore. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Zeno. I've been doing nothing but playing indies all fucking, like, for the past two and a half weeks. There's so much good shit that came out on ne uh, Steam Next, but I need to take a break, so I'm... I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I know that I'm going to be picking up Ishin, so I'll be play. I feel like I want to play that from start to finish. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll play ish on stream, I guess. But for all the other indies that I missed, I encourage you all to please check out my YouTube. I have I have YouTube that shows off all the indie games that are coming out soon and the games that are out. It's called Bargain Barrel. Remember that? God, if you remember that, I th thank you so much. I was there. I know you were there and everyone thought you were me. <laughs> that was a great time. <laughs> and, every, and everyone's still, and even even in the fucking unexpectable shorts, people still think I'm you in the video. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Zito, tell me about your pan. I don't know. You tell me about the animation business. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> can I can I also be Zito and talk about New York? Oh, please. I'd love to hear it. <laughs> please. Now, no, no. The, the gloves have been thrown at, the, at, the fucking, at my foot now. Come on. I went once. I'm sure I could pull it off. Oh, just once? Hey, please, yeah. Please, yeah, yeah. please, please enlighten me. <laughs> That's like me saying I went to Manhattan. Connor, you know? Connor, reel us in. <laughs> yes. We gotta get started here. Hold, hold on. There is one more thing I want to say. Uh, be on the lookout. I'm going back into my comic. Uh, Bout is being worked on once again. Yay, and uh, yeah. there may be... I'm going to post an emote in chat because there may be a flush <clears throat> of said emote incoming. Where is oh, he? There he is. There he is. There may, there may be an emote of said character incoming. Uh, I mean, not emote. Fucking uh, plush. There may be a plush incoming. Awesome. That too. Uh, all right. Bosco is currently not here, so I will do his uh, intro for him. Uh, Edward Bosco, a professional voice actor, Edward Bosco. You can find him on Twitter and Instagram at Ed Bosco VA. And you can find him on Twitch at Edward Bosco. That was way too slow to be Bosco. Yeah, no, Listen, that was definitely I'm, not. I'm a not TV. a speedrunner, okay? You're like, you're like years off of his record. Okay, I like to explore. If you were playing Pizza Tower, that would have been a B at best. I had to go to his website to look up his fucking information. <laughs> right, because he doesn't tell anyone what it is. God damn it, people in the information in... such as this. Did you know he has a YouTube channel as well? No oh, shit. <laughs> What's Sorry, up, Lonnie? I just, I just checked our Discord and people are subscribers. I just I just checked our, our Discord and people are posting tanks that are for sale. Let's <laughs> <Excellent. laughs> <Just like>, go! <laughs> Amazing. I love I love I love the fucking like the, the fun fonts for the pricing on this website. Well, Monty, oh. when you're not in the market for a tank, uh, where can they find you? What are you up to? I'm always in the market for a tank. But you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. This past weekend oh, yeah. was the Grievert Cup, a Pokemon tournament. That shit got wild. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be uploading the parts to YouTube here. I just got my thumbnail done by Boo Radley. So expect to see that on my YouTube here in like the next week. Um, it was a fantastic showing. I just want to say a huge shout out to people who showed up. Um, it was it was a great event. It took months of planning to organize eight people and eight different capture cards and eight Pokemon teams. Um, we are planning on doing another tournament, but we have to give it a lot of breathing space between each tournament just for the players to prepare their teams and also just because it's 
it's very draining. It's very exciting. There was nonstop screaming over the weekend. Uh, Connor was an amazing co-host, and it was a ton of fun. Uh, so thank you for those who showed up, and thank you so much to our eight participants uh, and our, our various winners of our various things. It was great. It was a ton of fun, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited to do more of it, honestly. Uh, that being said, you can also find me uh, streaming tomorrow. Uh, I'll be streaming uh, another D and D game, uh, Dungeon Mad Mage, with uh, the with a bunch of, bunch of nerd ass people. Um, and then Mondays, uh, we'll should be back to Mass Effect. We had to cancel this past week because our call was sick, and I believe Bosco had something, and I was also very tired from screaming for the entire weekend. Uh, but we should be getting back into that. I've been thinking about it a lot. Beyond that, follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. I have a YouTube, which is literally just Monty Glue. All of my VODs are there. I'm trying to give it a lot more care and consideration. Um, so there's more playlists and stuff like that. So if you're interested in catching any of that, definitely check it out. I highly recommend checking out the Griever Tournament. It was a lot of fun and really, really good. It was very exciting. <clears throat> I knew nothing going in, and now I know not nothing. Yeah. You, you know slightly more than nothing. It was very interesting seeing you start from the very beginning completely unawares. And at the end, like Connor was getting it. Connor was actually out outpacing me in the announcer department, honestly. Well, Monty, Monty's why are you like, oh, the, the, the type advantage on this move is going to really be devastating. And I'm like, I don't know. The other Pokemon's pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big boy. I don't know. It's quite chunky. Why doesn't the larger Pokemon simply eat the other one? <laughs> That's a what fair I'm question. That one's got yeah. a gun. And what else I'm saying? is uh, you can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil, or I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, we'll hopefully be getting back into uh, some Deus Ex uh, this Sunday. We got arrested by a Majestic 12. Aha, uh -huh, oopsie. <laughs> it happens. That's that's what happens when you accidentally a terrorism. Uh, oh, whoops. I accidentally the whole terrorism, what do? <laughs> Uh, it was a whoopsie moment, but uh, don't worry, because uh, we'll we'll make it out, or we'll have to quick load again, whichever comes first. Uh, but yes, uh, I'm also working on my uh, 5e subclass stuff. Don't worry, I am still working on it. It's just got a lot of a plate right now. Some of that will be on your plate soon as well, as soon as I get things from people. Uh, yes, you'll see. You'll all see within the next couple months. Don't worry, it'll be amazing. Um, as well, uh, nope, I think that's it. Uh, this episode was brought to you in part by Die Hard Dies. Die Hard Dies! <laughs> that's right. Die Hard Dice, your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. And again, I'm over to dieharddice.com. Use the code UNEXPECTABLES to save 10% on your order. Yeah. Grab a uh, belated Valentine's Day gift. Yes. Uh, for, for, your, for your special someone. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, if I got dice for Valentine's Day. Get, get pink, like pink and red dice for Valentine's Day. I want dice that are made out of real human hearts. No. That <laughs> that sounds sounds that's, an, that's, a, that's a fucking SNL skit where they had the fucking crew <laughs> of uh, of Star Trek The Next Generation on the love boat. Oh my god. I, uh, I, where Data I literally like... fucking pickles a heart in chocolate. I just want to be able to roll my dice and hear the pleasant sound of squishing. I uh I, I want well, a dice I want a dice made out of that chalky Valentine's Day heart candy that isn't oh, made anymore. Yeah, like the fake Smarties candy. Oh yeah. Well, before we get to some squishing, I've got to read off these bits and subs. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, you have eight minutes. <laughs> Glork Schnack, eater of children. Thank you for the five months of Prime subage. I have no idea what's going on, but you are goes are starting off strong. The Goblet of Fun Making, thank you for the 34 months. You know, I've been watching The Unexpectable since episode one, and it's uh, and it starts like these that remind me why I watch it. <laughs> Ellie oh, Kit, thank you for the 14 months. Time flies when you're having fun. Dark Lord Popo, thank you for the 29 months on today's episode of The Unexpectables 2. Will Eskan find Milo's pin? Will we find out why Kai does things other than hide or dodge? Come to a world <laughs> of wonder and find out today. 
Uh, Hound of Twitch, thank you for the 18 months. I have beaten Dead Space Remake on Impossible today. I need this to calm down from that. <laughs> Free Shavakadu, thank you for the 31 months. If each character was an avatar of the last year Bender world, what kind of bender would they be? I don't know. ATLA Gamer, thank you for the 35 months. Callum Draws, thank you for the 34 months. Roto Ryu, thank you for the 32 months of Prime. Skench the Null Barbarian, thank you for ah! the 35 months. <laughs> Uh, the ball name. guy, thank you for the 24 months. Mark is still my favorite. Uh, Lunatic Crow, thank you for the 35 months at tier two. 35 months. Hey, Monty, just curious. What is your ruling on magic missile for concentration checks? Does it count as a one or a three? What? What? Huh? It, oh? I mean, we can get into that, oh. but we don't We don't time, unfortunately, because... Indeed. Fully Cooly, thank you for the uh, 12 months. To think, it's been a year of subbing for me and many years of the unexpectables. Just today, I watched Citrix King's animation of the guy falling from the sky. Monty sounds so different. I know. I sound so much different. The mi microphones. He, yeah, you. microphone definitely was a <laughs> My microphone was so bad. Blemish, thank you for the 14 months. Ace Bounty, thank you for the 20 months. One more month until the funny number. Also, my next poem will be coming at the end of the chapter. K Macmon, thank you for the 30 months of Prime. The Talbs, thank you for the uh, uh, 35 months of Tier 2. Sunshine, 3160, thank you for the 10,000 bits. Oh. Just wanted to say hey, hello. Uh, here are some bits for you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you Dragosun, so much. Dragosun, thank you for the 100 bits. Rippington, thank you for the 32 months. The Chair of Folding, thank you for the 14 months with God as my witness. This sub is broken in half, by God. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, fresh thawed Neanderthal. Thank you for the 400 bits. Uh, hey, Monty, if I'm remembering correctly, gods are concepts in your universe. If that's the case, who's the god of cringe? Me! I think uh, you're misremembering Alucard. which campaign this is. <laughs> uh, Alucard, True V. Thank you for the 32 months. Chair of Folding. Thank you for the 55 bits. Got a lot of work tonight. I'll catch you all in the VOD. <laughs> Mr. Snacks, thank you for the nine bits. Fart Reverb MP3, thank you for the five bits. If Google oh gets a tank, I call dibs on being the sound for the cannon. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Many men present arms. Ready? Fire! Connor! <laughs> <laughs> Insert random noise, thank you for the ten bits. Uh, cheers to friends and... Uh, torturing said friends uh, platonically. Uh, Specterfall, thank you for the 100 bits. Have you heard? Have you thought of a party name for you guys yet? I know you you guys had kept the axe beaks. You would have known as the axe beak riders. Hmm. Cheshire well, Joker. What about, about Kier's recommendation? The Unexpectables too. <laughs> uh, no. 300 bits uh, from Cheshire Joker. Just a bunch of loans and credit cards to buy the tank, and then when you can't pay it back, what are you going to do? You got a tank! Roll for intimidation with advantage. Uh, <clears throat> Protoss 103, thank you for the five bits. Uh, just wondering, since Panic has kids, if they have any extra months like Panic's... Any extra mouths like Panic's mom. Uh, in my mind, yes. One of them does. You have four minutes. Uh, I, we're nearing the top here, so I think we're all new. All right. Uh, Captain, actually, thank you for the 35 months. Draconian 9, thank you for the 31 months. Uh, did someone say Die Hard Dice? Yeah. Morthrandor, thank you for the 100 bits. Chocolate Dice? Mm, delicious. Chocolate? Killer Chansey, thank you for the 10 bits. Mark, do you know that there are many sites uh, where they make dice out of human bones that sounds unethical and maybe illegal <sighs> i i uh, no i'm gonna shut up no it's fine tau set thank you for the eight months mr insecure thank you for the 35 months uh glork snack eater of children thank you for the <laughs> 245 bits the math rocks don't taste like candy <laughs> uh yeah, stick, stick to eating children you gotta use your imagination. <laughs> Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the 35 months. Greasy X Spoon, thank you for the 34 months. Noel and Void, thank you for the. God. Thank you for the That's 13 months of Prime. 
Uh, more three indoor, thank you for gifting 21 subs to the community. Sloth, thank you for the 35 months. Masamune, uh, 84, thank you for the 25 months. Fresh Thawed Neanderthal, thank you for the 100 bits. Spectrefall, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, and Lord Servitor, thank you for the 100 bits. And Lord Servitor, thank you for the 35 months. All right, that's it. All right, we're good to go. Awesome. All right, are you guys ready for a world of wonder like no other under the shining sun? And pain. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. I am. <laughs> hey, I'm All glad right. you're here, Obama. I'm excited to have you. Uh, like, happy to be here. I'm um, first, uh, first guest star of the campaign. It's crazy. Positioned. Yeah, no one uh, would have expected. All righty, well, let's get into the unexpectables. I play a mystic. When last we left our adventurers, Otho Valentinius, Kai Valentinius, Milo Brightbeam, Iskan Seat Lolly, and Gaius Agni, the party has reconvened with Lynn in the cutthroat town of Vanir's Bend. Now, as supplies gather, the party travels with the undead cleric westward towards the Emerald Cairn, the next location to disenchant the Pearl of Necrecta. Whilst on their way, though, the party was ambushed in the middle of the night by strange, nightmarish beasts. And now as the light has erupted from Milo, peeling these creatures from the dark, we return to the Unexpectables. And let's start off with initiative. Once again, I'm showing the artwork of these creatures to you. Uh, artwork by Quacknir, also known as Deathnir, of these particular beasts surrounding you. By the way, Monty, would this have interrupted our long rest or would we have gotten our long rest? Uh, no, this has interrupted your long rest. This is the oh, middle of the night, literally. Be great. You do not have a point of exhaustion, luckily, but mm -hmm. unfortunately it does but interrupt I your rest. It just means we have to sleep. my special abilities back. I mean, Mark, it just means that we sleep through noon. Also, we had a full day's rest of uneventful Travel, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so yes, yeah, we did. Okay, I'll refill this. Yeah, you, you have all your goodies back. I need to know if I can blow up the dogs or not. They're right. not dogs. Can well, I just, I'm just gonna get a confirmation from chat. Chat, can you hear the music? I just wanna make sure you guys can hear the music because we had that problem last week and I just wanna double check before we get into combat here. Gonna wait to see. Okay, everyone says yes. All right, sick, we are good I to go. I initiative. turned off hardware acceleration. Fuck. Oops. I need initiative from oh. everybody here. Ooh, Milo. Milo is ready. Milo is well. I've got the light. Uh, I was yeah. not ready. <laughs> Wait, no, hold on. That's not. Hold on. I, I clicked on the twenty and not the actual thing. Yeah, roll your roll your initiative. Uh, I mean, I just want to double check if there was any bonuses because that's just basically the same thing. Uh, nope. It's just a flat sixteen then. All right, I'll let you keep it. All right, and Lynn please, has... it's the only thing I have. This is the first good initiative I've had all game. It's all I have. <laughs> I am coming out of a deep, deep sleep. I rolled uh, six. <laughs> I get to fight a little bit first in the fucking foray. Let's go. Oh, yes. Eastcan. 
is still asleep. And Kai. E-Scan did not scan the horizon before waking no. up. No. This is where Lin comes in, all right. Lin I rolled pretty Lin. decently. The enemies also rolled very decently. I don't what like is your bonus? That. What is your bonus to initiative? Ah, okay. <laughs> Uh, you may want to just just real quick i'm sorry but you may want to switch back to the actual dice rolls in the chat because uh they can't see it they only see uh like oh. documents yep no worries two right there there you go chat yep sorry someone just told me in uh discord no worries i think i got a message i see a notification yep sure enough all righty initiative has been rolled top of the turner as the light shines forward you now see these skeletal dog centipede like creatures kind of sort of lurking and encircling you their mouths kind of glowing with this sort of acrid glow uh milo it is now your turn you could uh, say they're impeding our rest uh, um is anything full cover on this map i, I assume I not because it's all say... trees these are large, so from your position, this one's gonna, there's actually one over here, it's not showing on the map. Oh. Um, but you can see like the silhouette of one out here. <clears throat> okay. Uh, this one is not behind cover, this one is not, that one I would say has partial cover. Mm -hmm. This one definitely has cover. Uh, if you were to step over, you can see it, but it currently is yeah. like- So if I, was to hop, if I was to hop over to here. Yeah, it would still have partial cover because it has just a little bit of this bush covering it, but yeah. it's not as substantial. All right. As almost as an instant reaction to seeing these accursed undead hound bug things, the light from Milo's shield ripples just faintly, then pulsates and then explodes into a grand yeah. radiant uh, wall. Everyone needs to roll con saves because it's right. a full, full cover is what would negate this. That's why I yes. was checking. Right. So DC uh, spell save, I think 14. Yeah, so con okay. save 14. Con save 14. Oh, sorry, that was cock when we roll that. Hey, Milo, uh, wake up. What? <laughs> first one is 18. That will pass. All right, give me one second here. So that is a pass. Second one, uh, 15. That will pass. Pass. Third one. Uh, another 15. Mm -hmm. Pass. Fourth one. Uh, that's going to be an eight. That's okay, that will fail. Here. And the last one. They're not uh, in range. That... Oh, they're not in range? Okay. No, no it's, a right. 30 foot, it's a 30 foot range. You got it. All right, go and roll damage. 10 plus two. Oh, that's sad. Uh, nine radiant damage. So split in half will be four. All right. Interestingly enough, this is your your kind of big explosion attack, correct? Correct. All right. As you let out this raucous explosion, it blasts these creatures back, erupting the space into light. But you watch as they kind of like, like puppets on strings almost kind of lurch back to their feet. And they seem to be kind of quivering now, like kind of shaking like a chihuahua kind of excitedly. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Seeing that, I'm gonna back up into my allies and call turn. Alrighty. Give me one well, second I won't be here. here for long. <laughs> fool. <laughs> you fool, I will not be there. Uh it is now the enemy's turn. And that's why I moved Zito. Oh, <laughs> All by myself. Give me two seconds. I just need to I mean hell, we don't know what they do, so I might have doomed us all. I'm I, gonna I feel, die. I, I feel oh, like you just did that fucking scene like Simon Alfred did, you fool. I have 70 alternative accounts! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna do this. Misa gonna die? <clears throat> Immediately rushing forward. <laughs> with breakneck speed, you see now that sort of radiant damage that kind of blasted this creature. Mm -hmm. almost like a sponge around it like suck it up and it seems kind of empowered and with advantage it's gonna attack kai oh boy oh uh kai that is going to be a where's your text sorry one second uh that is going to be a 13 to hit you hit okay you take 
Uh, four points of piercing damage. And two points of acid damage. As this thing chomps down into your center and slams you to the ground, you watch then as your radiant energy, Milo, is almost like a steam just shunted out of it. No radiant damage. Oh, that's terrible, that is. Lurching around the corner, barreling towards you, Gaius, comes another one of these creatures, which is also going to attack you with advantage. Uh, wow, that's double good rolls. Uh, that is going to be a 24 to hit. No. No. <laughs> no. I refuse. You take six points of piercing damage. Alrighty, give me a, hold on, give me a second. My sheet's getting really wonky a sec. You got it. Okay, go ahead. And one point of acid damage. Ow. And you watch again as the radiant energy comes off as steam. E scan. Uh huh. Bursting forward at breakneck speed, also attacking you with advantage. Yeah. Uh, that is going to be a soft 20 to hit. This is going to hit hardly. Uh, that is going to be six points of piercing damage. Ow and two points of acid damage to you. Oh, ah, that's lovely. The last one actually kind of digs its like bony nails into the ground, almost like kind of locking it in place. And you watch as its neck kind of accordions into itself. Now the sort of mane of the centipede like legs twitching and quivering anticipation as you almost hear like a charging noise coming from its mouth until it like oh. lets out a blast. Uh, and it is going to do an acid slaver. Uh, it's gonna miss, I believe. Uh, actually, no, it has the damage. Uh, it's still gonna miss, probably. Uh, that is going to be nine to hit you, Otho. Nope. You manage to kind of jump and leap out of the air as just a streak of acid sprays across the ground and begins to burn the forest Duh. floor before you. Lost its thing. Rushing towards you now, kind of skulking comes one last one, Ow. and it is going to aim towards Lynn. Uh, and then, let's see, what's Lynn? What's your thing here? That's gonna be close. Also, Connor, you were kind of making noises into your microphone. Do you mind just leaning back a little bit? Uh, that is going to miss. The creature lets loose one, and Lynn just kind of smacks it away with her, with her um, shovel. Uh, that ends the enemy's turn. That brings us Otho. It is now to your turn. Uh, all right. Um, first things first, these things are attacking with advantage, so I'm going to shift. Okay, you shift into your were tiger form. Uh, let me find it here really quick. There we go. All right, I get three temporary hit points, and attacks against me cannot have advantage for any reason. You got it. Uh, I'm then going to circle around in front of Lin next to Kai, and the one that bit him, I'm going to slash down with a saber. You got it. Uh... Save our slash. It's gonna be, uh, actually, you know what? I will get to a flanking position with Kai as well. With your brother? You got it. Uh, here we go. Save us, Lash. Uh, 13? 13 misses. As you go to slash down the length of this creature, its tail, the centipede like tail, whips around and kind of almost knocks you off your feet as you kind of restabilize yourself, unfortunately, unable to find purchase through this thick carapace. All right, I will then, uh, I will reposition myself in front of Lynn. You got it. And that'll be All my right. turn. That is your turn. Gaius, it is now your turn. Let me attempt to hit first before I do any flavor. You got what? it. Yahoo! 17. 17 absolutely hits. Cool. So, hang on. So, it's just nine slashing plus nine slashing. action surge. You got it. Action surge, 20 soft. That hits. 14 slashing. 
14 Christ. slashing, Woo. not bad. As you spin once and cleave through one of the thing's legs, it kind of staggers, and you swing again, slashing off of kind of like the first chunk of its nose. A bunch of acid splatters to the ground, and it slacks for a moment before it... <sighs> looking back towards you. It looks really rough, but it is still standing. All right, I gotta, I gotta, um, no, because if I let them walk in, they're gonna get a big chunk of folks, but I'm looking at East Can like, uh, hi, god hi. damn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hi yourself. Uh, I, I, I need to peck away at the one I just chopped, so unfortunately I can't really do anything, bud. Sorry. That, that's turn. All right, that ends your turn. Yep. All right, it is now Lynn's turn. What? Lynn... <laughs> To three. Okay. Lynn is going to target these three creatures with a bane. Ooh. Uh, but first, fire! she is going to take a fucking step back because she is in danger zone. She is going to risk an attack of opportunity, but she's going to no. risk it. Luckily, what? it misses. All right. She is going to cast bane, and that is going to be a charisma saving throw. Oh, oh yeah! Hello! What's the charisma? <laughs> You think the bones were your friend? No. Failure. You That's merely adapted them. Oh, no. I failed them. I was part <laughs> of the shadows, literally. Baned and baned. Before I was a man, I was what? That Hold spinal on. cord is mine, Batman. Lynn is now <laughs> concentrating. concentrating. Lynn kind of, Got it. yeah. Lynn kind of staggers back. She's kind of assessing the situation. Uh, but that ends her turn as he banes the two creatures. That brings us to Eastcan. It is now your turn. Uh, for flavor, I'm rolling closer to Gaius, standing up with the use of uh, Mira's staff, which I will slam it. into the ground and initiate the thunder blast. Thunder wave, thunder jargon words. Thunder right. square. Thunder wave, that's the one. Thunder square, yeah. Square thunder of thunder. Thunder square. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, no! Oh. I'm uh, assuming you're targeting these two. Uh, yes. All right. This Let me guy roll for, and this for the guy. first one. I rolled an eight and a one. Which is the one closest to Gaia succeeds with a, and that's a con save. Yes. Uh, that one succeeds with a soft twenty. Oof. Uh, and then the other one, uh, got a fifteen. So they both pass. Both pass. Which means they're not pushed. I believe they and take half damage as well, correct? They take half damage. All right, so that's going to be half of that is going to be four points of damage. <laughs> Still a significant chunk as the creature in front of Gaius is starting to look really rough. The acid is kind of dribbling from its mouth. Uh, the other one seems like it kind of bulks back, kind of digging its nails into the earth. Uh, but seems to be more agitated and angry than damaged in some ways. I don't want to do it, but you know it's coming. I'm gonna hungry jaws the one next to <laughs> Gaius. You got it. I'm about to get a mouthful Taste of the acid. acid. Here Have we go. Have this battery. Put it in your mouth. Does 12, 12 unfortunately hit? misses. As Damn you kind of go for a bite, it opens its jaws. And you're like, nope, that's danger. Don't want to bite that. I As want you to know. I rolled literally the highest possible damage I could do. I know. And it didn't hit. So every time I've hit, I've done zero damage. And the one time I could I could actually do damage, I didn't hit. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that bud. Jacks. No, it's, it's okay. That's exactly expected. Uh, that'll be turn. That'll be turn. That brings us around to Kai. It is now your turn. Uh, yoink. Getting the hell out of dodge. And then I'm going to shoot the one in front of Gaius. Okay. Uh, five. Five misses. As you go to shoot, you are behind a shrub. So unfortunately, you find no purchase. <laughs> I, I like to imagine the arrow doesn't even fucking fall out. It, it, just, it doesn't fly. It just falls out of the fucking slot. <laughs> Aw. It just hits the floor. Anything else you'd like to do on your turn, Kai? That's everything. All right, as you run off, Lynn looks at you and goes, where are you going? And shouts at you. Uh, that brings us top of the turn over Milo. It is now your turn. All right. Uh, yeah, this one already had its reaction, correct? 
It did, yes. Okay, just want to make sure. Milo just completely stunned at the fact that he just kind of hampered the whole situation. Shakes it off. Arden won't give up on us just yet! And I am casting... Whoops. Blaise. Uh, myself... Oh, shit! Myself, um... Gaius and Otho will be blessed. And let me see if I can do this correctly. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm going to position myself to be able to flank with Gaius. You got Mason, it. Mason hand. Alrighty, that ends your turn, Milo? That it does. Alrighty. Don't forget that you're concentrating on Bless as well. Yes, I'm. Alright, start of the turn here. Oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, so you get an attack of opportunity. I will take it. All right. <laughs> hey. That hits. Go and roll damage. Oh, Woo. 10 slashing Whoa. damage. 10 slashing damage. Not, ma not bad. As this thing immediately chases after your brother, you bring down a meaty slash, cutting off the end of its tail, but it gallops forward anyway. Uh, it's going to brother. attack you. It's going to attack you, Kai. But it has Bane, so let me Bane it. Oh, no. Ah. It's your brother. He's so broken. <laughs> Psychology. Uh, that's still gonna be a soft 20 to hit, unfortunately, Kai. That will hit. Jesus. All right, piercing. Uh, you're gonna take. Uh, let's see. Sorry. Uh, four points of piercing damage. Okay. And three points of acid damage. Got it. Yeah. No. This one immediately lunges towards you, Otho, and is going to attack you. All right. Uh-oh. Uh, terrible roll. Uh, I don't think that's going to hit. That's going to be a 12 to hit. Ooh, close but no cigar. Um, yeah. Let's see. Ah, uh, shit sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Choices. I'm going to flip a coin yeah, here. Yeah, we're all in a major death sandwich over here. Ow. Uh, it's going to be on you, Gaius. Okay. Uh, Jesus. Yeah, that's going to be a 23 to hit. Uh, no. <laughs> oh. Uh, you take five points of piercing damage. Ow. And one point of acid damage. Oh, ow, okay. Ow. Ow. The one between Milo and Gaius seeing Kai run past is going to, again, lurch its head inwards and oh, launch no. out a ball of acid. Acid oh. blast! I want to block him. That is... He's not Bane. Okay, so that's going to be uh, 18 to hit you, Kai. That hits. You take five points of acid damage. All right, and I'm down. All right, you were unconscious. Well, this is and going great. The one to the south is going to attack you, Ezan. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, that is going to miss. Uh, I don't even need to bane that. I don't even think. You know, for the funny, I'll bane it. Uh, that's going to be. For the he -ha. Yeah. Five misses you, I believe. Oh, so, goodness. yeah. It snaps towards you, but you managed to kind of like use your staff to knock its head out of the way. Uh,. Otho, it is now your turn as your brother has run past and you just see immediately all these things turn their head towards the vulnerable person, no longer part of the pack. What do you do? Otho lets out a roar that shakes the leaves and I'm going to cunning action disengage. Okay. Uh, now, Kai being down, it won't give me flanking, correct? No, he is considered incapacitated right now. He's unconscious. Right. He's on the ground. So, yeah. I'm, no. I'm going to give them something to think about. I'm going to split myself off from the pack and try and distract these others. You got it. And I'm going to swing 
Uh, I'm going to swing at the one that is bearing down on Kai. You got it. Its mouth is open. It's ready to barrel down its jaws onto the neck of Kai. Saber, attack. Uh, that hits. Uh, for five slashing damage. Five slashing damage. You got it. You cut down into this thing. It kind of bulks a little bit, but it doesn't seem to take too much notice as its prey is before him. Uh, that is all I can do. All right. That ends your turn, Otho. Gaius, it is now your turn. Uh, bonus action, uh, second wind. You got it. So I got to roll a 1d10 plus one. It's plus your con, I believe. Oh, Christ, that's literally a one. All right, so four HP. Cool. Uh, all right, great axe, here we go. You got it. Don't forget your plus two and your plus D4. Hell yeah. yeah. You won't need it. I don't need <laughs> it. One, one absolutely hits. Oh. 19! Oh, come on! Six slashing. How do you want to kill this thing? Uh. I I want to use the flat end of my great axe when this thing like tucks its neck into itself. Gaius bonks it on the snout and its head goes into its own fucking body. It snaps and the legs kind of like scrunch in like a spider, like almost flip inwards unnaturally like a spider's reaction and the whole thing falls onto the ground. It writhes for a while on the ground, each leg twitching and kind of gnarling together until it kind of goes still. All right, and I'm moving this way to intercept. You got it. That brings us around to Lynn. Lynn looks at the situation and goes, oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, shit. Yep, no that's shit. Accurate. shit. That's accurate. <laughs> she runs over here. Oh, God, is she close enough? Uh, let's see, lady. What do you got? Come on. Oh, thank God, you half dead bitch. Uh, she is going to. <laughs> she is going to cast sanctuary on Ooh. you. Kai. Wow. She thrusts out her hand towards you, and she says, "Just as I was beginning to like you," and she throws out a hand, and you have it sanctuary on you. Put that there is a shield for. For the sake of detail, Sanctuary, you ward a creature within range against attack until the spell ends. Any creature who targets the warded creature with an attack or a harmful spell must first make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, the creature must choose a new target or lose the attack or spell. So she's basically I, protecting I, you. I have to ask. Yes. Is she still concentrating on Bane? It is not a concentration spell. Concentra oh, uh, sanctuary shit. is not concentration. Yeah. No, it lasts a minute. Yeah. Yep. So. Da, 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 da. <laughs> uh, hey, Bonnie. Yep. Ju ju just to clarify, I kind of reread my thing. I have to add like two more HP because it's plus level as well. Oh yeah, go for it. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, that was her bonus action, and for her main action, oh god. Oh, she doesn't want to do it. She doesn't want to put them in danger, but she does notice that this one next to her is kind of not doing well. She's gonna thrust out her hand. Uh, actually, no, she's not going to attack with it. She's going to, you know what? Just pull out the fucking mace. She's pulling Hell out the shovel. Yeah. Shovel's Bow. coming out. Plum. Shovel mace. That Chase, hits. That, that just hits. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, Lynn. Uh, okay, and a significant chunk of damage. She has five points of damage to the creature before her. She smashes it over the head with her shovel, and that is Lynn's turn. Uh, Eastcan, it is now your turn. Uh, well. What I was going to do, I won't do, because Lynn is there now. Uh, but seeing kind of the situation developing behind him, um, I he is going to uh, point Mira's staff while dodging the incoming uh, blows from the creature currently next to him. Uh, he's going to point his staff in the direction of the other two uh, uh, dogs. Um These guys over here. A human this guy and the one in the back as well that eventually I can that guy. Yep. Those two. Uh, and uh, from the uh, a gentle green glow will come from the staff and I will cast Entangle. Ooh, okay. Let's go. Alrighty. Strength check on both of those, right? Such a good spell. Uh, yeah. Yes. 
All right. Uh, the first one gets an 11. That will fail. It is now entangled. The second one also rolls an 11. And also fails. <laughs> They're both immediately snared up. They are considered... Uh, Drishan, the plantains are grabbed into an area. They're considered range. restrained. They're considered restrained. I also, I also need a measurement for the size of the space. It's oh, it's a 20 square. foot square. So, uh, put it like right there. Yeah. Right. Is that hindering terrain now, or? It is. It is, it is okay. difficult terrain. terrain yeah. Difficult, sorry, words. Actually, bigger now. Sorry, one second. It's like the one. Square it's bigger. big. Oh! Yeah. It is oh! So, I heard there. myself echo. Yeah. <laughs> that was one. I was going to move the camera a little bit here so you have a better eye of the battlefield here. There we go. All right. The two creatures immediately yet let out these horrible yelps and screeches as the vines entangle around them. They kind of gnaw at them and like rip at them violently with their mouths, and the acid kind of slavers onto it, but they are still trapped. Uh, Iskan, while he can't, he's concentrating, so he can't break his focus, he's gonna uh, kind of call over his shoulder to Milo. Uh, Get Kai up! And that'll be turn. All right. That brings us to Kai. It is now your turn. I need a death saving throw, please. Ow. Here we go. Uh, it's a 10. That is a success. Uh, for clarification, death saves are 10 up success and nine yeah. below fail. Okay. Nine below fail. And if you get a natural one, that's two failures. And if you get a natural 20, you come back with one HP. Cool. Yeah. Dope. All right. That ends Kai's turn. Milo, it is now your turn. God, seeing all this happening, turns to Kai, who's still lifeless on the ground, shouts out, Odin won't abandon you and neither will I. And for my bonus action, healing word. All right. Bam. Oh, God, minimum, really? All as right. this as this goes off, something happens. Oh, no. Oh, oh God. <laughs> okay. Uh, only these two get it. As you cast forth the healing spell, you watch as the healing life kind of begins to stitch over Kai's wounds. But then you watch as these two creatures, the one here and the one over here, begin to make like an inhaling noise, like a deep breath. And you watch as some of that magic is sucked up by them and their own wounds begin to stitch up. I uh, fucking hate these, Monty. <laughs> you get healed by two, Kai, and the creatures also oh get healed God. by two. Oh. Well, that's I cool. hate this. This is just this is just the anti me monster. <laughs> they were designed with you in mind. Supremely angry and having fucking enough of this. I'm gonna swing around and flank with Kai and just bash him with a mace. You mean Eastcan? I'm, I'm Eastcan. Eastcan. Sorry, Hi. I am so flustered. <laughs> see, see I'm right. so angry. <laughs> Milo's so angry. Here he comes. He's waddling. <laughs> Boom! Can you move over one space? Yes, ma'am. Put on the angry <laughs> duck no, uh, the angry Seven, duck song. Nine, 19 Boom. absolutely hits. Bonkum! Three. Three points of damage. Hey, it is still Bludgeoning. damage. Damage Bludgeoning damage. damage. As you smash this thing on the back of its tail, cracking into its carapace, it kind of buckles and lets out a hiss. Flintstone's doink noise. <laughs> just, just yelling at the thing. Come and get me then, monster! Uh... Kai, you are brought back to 2 HP. You are prone, though. So you're technically on the ground right now. But he's still, still sanctuaried, right? <laughs> he is, yes. He is still sanctuaried. All right. That ends, Milo, that, that ends your yes. turn? That it does. All right. It is now the enemy's turn. I'm going to do this in number Aha. order just for the sake of ease. The Aha, one immediately next to you is going to, still seeing you on the ground, is going to make a wisdom saving throw against uh, Lin's DC, which is... Okay. <laughs> is a number uh, plus its wisdom. Uh, that is going to be an 11, so it fails. It goes to bite towards you, and then it, almost as if something has got reins on it, it reaches back, and instead it turns towards you, Otho, and is going to go for you instead. That is going to be a 15 to hit you, Otho. That just hits. Okay. You take... Ooh, this is going to hurt. I'm very sorry. 
That's fine. Uh, you take eight. Uh, sorry, no. Uh, b -b -b math. Seven points of piercing damage. Okay. And consistent. One point of acid damage. All right. Not terrible. Not great. Not terrible. <laughs> Alrighty. The one. Oh, it's worse. Oh, it died. Okay. The one between <laughs> you and Milo. <laughs> oh, it died. It died. <laughs> it died. Uh, this one's going to go for you, Milo. Cool. Flashbang. Okay. Disadvantage. <laughs> uh, that is going to be an eight to hit you, which misses. As it kind of reaches up its eyes, you flashbang and it lets out a horrible shriek as its head slams to the ground. It kind of like, almost like an animal rubbing something off of its skin. It kind of like wiggles across the ground and kind of trembles a little bit, but not enough to get that full sort of shake. Mm. Uh, and yeah, its attack misses. Cool. The one next to Lynn, now they are restrained. I think they can still attack, I believe. They might attack at disadvantage. I'm gonna double check does. it real fast. I think restraint is- Restrain? Yeah, restraint's uh, like more powerful than that. Let me uh, check to see. They have disadvantage, so they can attack yeah. at disadvantage. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, so this one is going to attack Lynn with disadvantage. Uh, that is gonna hit Lynn, unfortunately. Oh. But she's a big this girl. She a... can handle it probably. Darn it moment. Certified uh, oh shit moment. She takes four points of piercing damage and uh, Darn three it. points acid <laughs> damage. All right. That ends that one, sir. The other one is going to try and break free of the entanglement, which I believe is a strength saving throw. I uh, can use its action to make a strength check against my save DC. So yeah. So it's going to do that. Uh, I don't think that's going to do anything. That's a 10. That will fail. This thing is still stuck inside of the entanglement. That ends the enemy's turn. Uh, Otho, it is now your turn. All right. Uh, seeing as now I've got its attention, uh, Otho is going to uh, utilize this to its maximum ability. He's going to shift uh, over to the side slightly so that if if this thing backs up, he'll have to uh, bump into Kai for flavor. This is flanking. Gotcha. Uh, and I will saber flange. You got it. Stab him in the butt. You can get sneak attack still because Kai is there, but unfortunately a well, 10 is wait, not going to find you're blessed. Oh, wait, you have bless. You have bless. You have bless. Oh, fuck. Here I go. Plus two, plus whatever you roll. Come Whoa. on, baby. That's a 14? 14 just misses, I'm so oh! sorry. Wait, 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 wait. He's flanking with Kai. Would yeah. Would be a 16? That's, that's a 10 plus, two. plus four, yeah. Uh, so it's a 14, no. which just misses. I'm so, Fuck so it. sorry. Dagger time. All right, offhand dagger slash. Let's go. You're still blessed with that, I believe. I don't believe, I don't think it's one of that's, It's whenever. One. Yeah. <laughs> it, is one, it is one a turn. You can only apply it once per turn. Oh, beans. Uh, but a 20 does hit. All right, 11 piercing damage. So you take, hold on, because you only do the damage roll. You don't get the bonus, don't forget. Oh, uh, uh, yes. Only, that was a four though. 1d4 so, plus three, so that was... Seven, seven total damage, I believe. That is seven, wait, hold on. I'm just confirming the bonus. Yeah, so there's seven no, total eight. damage. It would be eight, it would be eight. I rolled a four on the damage oh, dice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then for the, the dagger, and then four for my sneak attack, so it would be yeah, eight. Yeah, so eight. All right, nice. You slash up into this thing's back, cleaving down kind of the carapace as acid just pox and spits from its body. But this thing still is snarling between the two brothers and has a lot of fight in it. <sighs> and he'll just grit his teeth and end his turn. All right, so that brings us to Gaius. It is now your turn. Let's go. 21. Great. Absolutely axe. hits. You have advantage. So, oh, yeah, it already applies it. Yeah. 20, yeah, but 21, though. 21 don't, absolutely hits. Don't forget your bless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Five slashing. Five slashing damage. Not bad. As you cleave down into this thing, it lets out a horrible wail and is kind of like just trying to get free of these binds and kind of start like you just like full on. You know when a kid puts like the ball on that little rubber thing, you put like the baseball on and then you go for a swing? Yeah. It's so, it's so easy, guys. It's just like that, but it's its head instead as you just swing into it, kind of cutting through side of, sort of the side of the neck and kind of pulling back like the most cursed tree you've ever chopped into. I'm going to get the candy out of this pinata. Mark my words. 
All right, is that in your I turn? I don't think you want that candy. I don't know, maybe it's I It's gross and toxic. <laughs> I'm trying to think of, what's that fucking juice that literally just got discontinued because it has too much acid in it to be juice? Oh my God. Yeah, like there's literally, an, uh, okay, uh, it's a story for another time. I can tell it later. <laughs> uh, that's, my, that's the end of my turn. Uh, All right. Yeah, there's an orange juice in circulation right now that has too much acid to be considered orange juice. Oh, wow. Jesus. All right. All righty, it is now Lynn's turn. The Lynn sanity! Which she actually should have rolled for... Oh, no, she didn't get hit, so she's fine. Uh, let's see what she can do here. Hold on. I should have been looking at her options. Does that count? I'm gonna say it doesn't. Hooray uh, or boo, depending. <laughs> yeah, it, it was. It was oh, by the by the way, it was it was simply simply has too much. Simply, a, simply oh. has too much acidic juices in it to be considered actual orange juice. Yeah. I drink a lot simply of simply. Acid. Maybe I should stop doing Alrighty. that. That explains the this... acid reflux. Okay. Yeah, she's gonna do it. Lynn is gonna cast aid. Ooh. Cool. Which technically doesn't heal you, based on the way that it is written, and increase your maximum HP by five, and it gives you that five HP. So Kai, Otho, and Gaius, you all your max HP increases by five, and you gain five hit points. Cool. And she kind of looks towards you, Eastcan, and goes, "Sorry." And she kind of turns <laughs> over, uh, and she kind of shouts, "She goes, focus, fire them down, so we can heal each other." And that will be her turn. That's all she can do. Uh, Eastcan, it is now your turn. <laughs> I can't heal myself, or I'll heal the creature next to me. I assume he saw that happen when Milo tried to heal, right? Oh, yeah, you all saw that yeah, happen. So he's aware. Uh, you all heard so... the noise and saw them suck up the healing magic like a Slurpee. Yeah. <laughs> like a really gross magic Slurpee. Oh, God, they're mall rats. I'm going to just kind of... Without breaking eye contact with the the uh, entangled spell, uh, he's gonna reach behind him and kind of smack this creature with Mira's staff, two-handed style. You got it. Yeah. That hits. Damn. Uh, so, and two-handed yeah, six is six damage. points of damage. And that's on the creature in front of you. Uh, next to Milo. Yeah. Next to Milo. All right. Second, I just gotta grab it. Damn, Daniel. I didn't mean to draw a square. Hang on. That, Sorry. yeah, no worries. I thought I did that. You smack down into this thing, crunching in its skull, but it kind of gurgles and kind of keeps itself upwards. You're doing damage to it, but it's got a lot of fight in it. Yeah. That's unfortunately all I can do, because uh, i got to maintain the uh, entangle. You got it. That brings uh, us do to Do I need Kai. to do a concentration check when I attack, or is it only when I get No, hit? only when you take damage. Okay, gotcha. Or if you use another spell that obviously has concentration, you lose the previous one. Right. All right, Kai, it is now your turn as you're kind of reeling from the strikes and feeling very protected um, and blessed, or rather, not blessed, oh. but uh, aided, <laughs> I, rather. There's a better way to point this out. You you feel anointed. Yeah, let's put it that Kai way. Kai is glowing in like three different colors right now. <laughs> <laughs> but it is now your turn. just crushed, so there is no amount of hashtag blessed that is going to make that go away. <laughs> Just pointing that out. So without even getting off the ground, he's just gonna very weakly reach underneath his poncho. He's gonna pull out that rapier and essentially just throw it at this thing because he barely has the strength to get up. All right. Um, and it'll, Go it'll for count it. as a swing. Uh, nine. Plus two. Uh, that's 11. 11. Unfortunately, you throw it at the beast and it kind of grabs it and kind of tosses it aside. Not even so much as, you know. Uh doesn't give a shit. Seeing that it essentially just takes it out of his hand and throws it away, Kai is then just going to immediately collapse as it's looking up as it's at this thing. And then, like, look desperately over at Otho. All right. Feel that ends, agony. <laughs> that ends Kai's turn. Milo, it is now your turn. Uh, still very much enraged at these horrible abominations. Uh, let's see here. Bonk. Did Five, you say uh, abomination? No. Oh. Use 10 feet of movement, get here. Looking over at these two struggling, just... What once was a warm, gentle hearth in the eyes of, of little Milo is now just enraged flames as he brings his hands together. Uh, yeah. And uh, just, does the, just screams what? out 
as burning hands leaps from his well hands. Hey. Okay. Could I get a click on and tang? Actually, no. Hold on. It, they, it's a it's a deck save and they're restrained, so nice. they should have disadvantage. They do, but I'm wondering if the field is about to catch oh, fire. Right. So they are they are real plants. So they are if plants, they are flammable, yeah. they can take damage. By the way, yep. Monty, yes. you need to take off sanctuary. Why? Because I made a hostile action. Oh, you did. That's right. Mm -hmm. I guess I didn't want you to forget for the enemy's turn. Hold on. Uh, if the warded creature makes an attack, cast a spell that affects an enemy or deals damage to another creature. Well, you didn't deal damage. But you did make an attack, so it is gone. I made oh, an okay. attack, gotcha. so it's still the same thing. It's an aggressive action. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Now you're only glowing in two colors. Yep. He's uh, RT and not B. Oh, no. <laughs> no B. I will, you know what? Oh, man, this is this is a good question, honestly. Mm -hmm. Let's see how much damage it does. Okay. And I'll determine if it's a lot of damage, that shit's on fire. If it's not oh, a ton sure. of damage, then I'll be more merciful. So I let me roll the deck saves here real fast, which I think they automatically fail, don't they? No, they get disadvantage to their deck saves. Disadvantage. It's right. uh, DC 14. Uh, definitely a failure from the first one that's further away. The other one, uh, that's gonna be a 14. That just meets. Okay, so that is a success. All right, here we go. Whoosh! Wow. Whoosh. Oh, six. That's, that's, that's incredible. <laughs> it is damage, though. Oh. Uh, the first one is Scorch and, like, lets out this horrible wail. The other one kind of, like, ducks its head inwards and does take half damage. It is starting to look a little little rough, um, but the plants do not catch flame, as that, that is not a, enough damage to essentially catch it by flame, so they are still ensnared in the entanglement uh, and, and slightly barbecued as they are smoking at the moment. And they kind of like, it's like horrible. They're letting out, like, you know when you grab a pig and it screams and it's like, oh, you feel just awful and you're like, oh, please stop, please stop, please stop. <sighs> It's like you know, that, but I actually but don't know what it's like to grab. A pig. Yeah, I've never, never <laughs> grabbed a pig before. Have you scream. grabbed a pig? I, I, I've seen Monty, grab pigs. Monty, 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 I put my hand on your shoulder. It's okay. I've worked yep. at it too. Yep. Solidarity, solidarity. Yeah. They, Fuck, they yeah. scream and it's terrible. And it's basically uh, what you're I've hearing right now. I've seen a pig right scare now. Monty, which is the greatest thing you'll yeah, ever see. Yeah, I, I saw that, that too. That is, that is true. All right. Uh, Would you say that these creatures are hickory smoked since they are planted and it smells on fire? like it smells like smoked jerky and like yeah. kind of like a mixture of smoked jerky and like acid chemicals. It's not a pleasant uh. smell. Uh, uh, knowing these knowing these things have projectile attacks, I'm actually going to reposition to try and get cover. You got it. Alrighty, that ends Milo's turn. It is now the enemy's turn. Oh, uh, good, uh, uh, good question, Monty. Just because I'm curious. If a creature is wrapped in inflamed plants, do the plants just melt away or do they take fire damage, like tick damage? In that space, I would treat it like every start of their turn, they would take fire damage if they're in the space. Web, so. web specifies that uh, mm -hmm. the web, web is can flammable. be burned away. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Web can be so burned not... away, but entangle doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't There say. are no rules for it. Yeah, yeah. Right. so I feel like that's kind of like whatever happens, happens. But I gotcha. would say if they catch flame, like that space becomes like, like death, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> Good. I can't wait right. the whole forest on fire. The plate of fire! Uh, the first creature is... No longer have the thing, so I'm going to flip a coin here. One to two will be Otho, three to four will be Kai. Come on, you pansy. He is going for Kai. Curse! Damn it! Blast. But he's still baned. No hey! Not super great. Ooh, four on the bane. That puts it at 12 to hit. That'll miss. Let's go. All right. As it opens up its jaw, you hear Len go, no, and you watch as its head lurches back as the bane kind of ricochets in its mind and kind of shakes its head. Uh, the one that's for staying next to Lynn is going to attack her with disadvantage. No! Oh! Nom, 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 nom. Come on! Uh, yeah, misses. That's seven. Uh, Turn and the, the knife. Other, and the other one is going to try and break free with an athletics check. Come on, uh, it's me strength. It's just strength. It oh, strength. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that is going to be a fifteen. Does that succeed? That will pass. Yeah. All right. It rips out of the uh, entanglement and is no longer restrained. Uh, the one to the south here, I'm going to flip a coin again. 
Uh, one, ah. two. All right, E-Scan is going to be on you. It is still Bane. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I, I can't I can't flashbang for others. There's four on the Bane. Uh, oh, shit. But that's still going to be a 16, unfortunately. It is still going to hit me. All right. Take. Uh, terrible damage. Uh, you take. Sorry, one second. Uh, we like Jumping between damage. a lot of sheets right now. Uh, we four points like... of piercing damage. Oof. And three points of acid damage. I'm down. All right. B scan is uh... down. Fuck. That ends the enemy's turn. Otho, it is now your turn. Folks, it's not looking good here for the Unexpectables 2. Name pending. Uh, well, you know, uh, might as well try for a second verse, same as the first. I'm going to swing my saber at okay. Acid Boy right here. Come on, baby. Uh, bless. With bless. Bane. Yeah, bless. Bless. Not Bane. Bless. <laughs> right. The opposite. The good one. Fifteen. <laughs> A 15 is its AC. You yes! Hit. Let's go! Go ahead, roll damage. Go. I'm like, I'm like Matsumoto right now, going... <laughs> <laughs> please, Connor, please just kill it. I'm trying. <laughs> that is 12 points of slashing damage. 12 points of slashing damage, not bad. As you strike into this thing, kind of cleaving down its tail, it is barely holding on. It looks haggard I'm... and wounded, but it still has I some... have to dagger it. I have right. to dagger it. Poke it in the Here ass. I go. Pizza party. That is a 19. That hits. Uh... Wait, Connor, how could a... you? It is not a 19. How could you miss your own catchphrase? <laughs> Oh, of I, course. With the flanking, that makes a uh, 20 moon. 20 Thank you. For uh, that will be points. three damage. It is still standing as you try Fuck. desperately and dagger <laughs> it, but it looks terrible. Out of all of the creatures here, this one looks the worst right now. Come on, just die, you abomination! <sighs> all right. Quick, Kai, spit on it. Uh, Gaius, Please on it, it deal now... poison damage. <laughs> Gaius, it is now your turn. Question. Yes. Uh, can I toss a thrown weapon as a bonus action? Uh, if it has the light property, you can. It sure does. It's a hand axe. Hell yeah, you absolutely can. All right, bonus action. Throw my fucking hand axe at the one that's pestering Kai and Otho. You got it. Hit! 24! That hits. Wow. Five slashing. Five slashing damage. How do you want to kill it? As Oth, as Oth, as Oth, as Oth, <laughs> fuck you, I'm helping. I was gonna say, <laughs> stole my kill. What the fuck? Oh, okay, hold on. Let me take it back. <laughs> and fuck you guys. You're that on shit your back. own. Come over there, break my foot off in your ass. <laughs> no, it's uh, axe. So, axe. Just, as, just as fucking Otho goes, why won't you just die already? The axe just like fucking goes right in its forehead and it falls over. Don't worry, I helped. Much obliged, Mr. Agni. All right. Actual action. Hit this motherfucker with my great axe. You got it. Yahoo! 18. 18 hits. Oh, 15 ooh. slashing! Oh, how do you want to kill this one? <laughs> Double kill. Jesus Christ, it's I, Gaius's I, I, day. I want, you, I want you to know that Gaius, what, Gaius was looking at Otho still saying that, and he just lazily upswings and cuts the thing's head off. A horrible spout of acid and blood erupt from the stump where the head once was as the body again twitches and kind of sucks itself inwards like a spider. Okay, now to see where everyone is in this scenario. Uh, I, I want to stop this more healthy one to get at anyone else, so I'm going to use my... Movement one, two, three, four, five, six. I just, I'm going to use Mirthful Leap to get my ass over there. Lynn gives you a high five as you go, and she goes, oh, Good job. It's <laughs> kind of panting and looks very Yo, that's like, just oh my enough. God. Nice. There that's you go. just enough. That's I'm right amazing. here. I leap my, I sidestep my fucking ass right next to this thing, like in a fighting game. I pepino parry my ass over. You got it. 
Alrighty, that ends your turn, Gaius. That's Lynn, uh, Lynn definitely chose her favorites in this fight, though, because she put Sanctuary on Kai and gave Gaius a high five. And <laughs> all she did was look at Iskan and frown. <laughs> uh, she actually runs up to you, Iskan, and she looks at you, Milo, and Gaius and goes, I'm sorry, and she's going to cast Cure Wounds at level one to bring you back. Hey. So that's going to be one D8 plus her modifier, which is Sweetie Modifier for this thing. That's a D10. What the fuck am I doing? Oh, great. Well, you know, that kind of works out anyway. Uh, you get healed for four, or you should be healed for four. Instead, you get healed for two E-scan. And the creatures immediately within 30 feet oh. uh, both get healed for two as well. I hate these things. It's okay. I'm up. Oh, boy. More you... fight. <laughs> they, all come back to, they all come back to life. <laughs> That would suck. If it brought you them back. Hear, you hear more of that inhaled wheezing, like a vacuum cleaner of howls as they suck in some of that healing energy and kind of like twitch and kind of enjoy it before kind of snapping their jaws shut and staring back at you. But Lynn does bring you back, East Can. Uh, <laughs> and you know what? Uh, I'll allow her to use her movement to do this. Uh, she's going to use her movement to get you up on your feet, Ooh. East Can, so you are not prone. Thank you. And she kind of gives you a pat and goes, oh, I hate these things too. <laughs> she kind of looks back towards these creatures. <laughs> All right. That brings us to E-Scan. It is now your turn. Uh, since I am up, uh, and concentration would have dropped on Entangle when I went down. Yeah. Uh, E-Scan will kind of nod towards Lynn, and as he's turning to move away, she'll see his eyes light up uh, with the color of stars as he whips uh, his staff back around, and I'm gonna cast Thunder Wave again on this fucking creature. Get All this right, fuck out. you got it. That's a con save, right? Yes. Oh. Oh. Amazing. A yeah, fun fight. <coughs> uh, hey, if he fails, he gets pushed. Twelve on the con save. He failed. He failed. He failed. Get pushed. So he takes four, four whole thunder damage, Woo! and, and he's pushed <laughs> ten feet away. Or thunder damage, and he's pushed ten feet away. It is the curse of thunder spells to roll as One, low as possible two. in this campaign. I've, I've rolled pretty high with them before, but considering I just got back from being almost dead, this is an apropos. Milo, okay, you I lift up your hands in the guarded position as Iskan. You just kind of forward thrust Mira's staff, and a concussive blast echoes in the rib cage of this creature. It's blasted backwards. There's sort of a streak on the ground where it's claws, and it's like centipede like legs kind of dig into the earth to try and stop its. Uh, velocity, but it kind of stays on its edge and kind of shakes its head in confusion as it does take some damage, but this thing is still pretty strong. Alrighty. Does that end your turn, Scan? Yes. Alrighty. That brings us to Kai. It is now your turn. Uh, Kai is going to pick up his rapier out of this thing or off the floor, wherever it ended up. And yeah, you scoop it up off the ground as this thing is now slot and you now see its bot, like its limbs just kind of curling inwards unnaturally. And Otho, you'll, you'll see as Kai tries to push himself onto his feet, his nose is probably broken. There's blood running down his face. His clothes are all tattered and muddy and he is going to pull himself two steps this way, basically using his bow as a walking stick and then he's going to very shakily hold it up, try to pull back a bow. And Otha, you'll see that it's extremely hard for him to steady. Like, there's, he's just not all there, and he's going to shoot. Um, and as he shoots, the arrow doesn't go anywhere near this thing, as he just doesn't have the strength and is barely able to stay on his feet and drops to a knee. Oh. And that'll be turn. All right. That brings us top of the turn order. Milo, it is now your turn. Your turn. Milo looks, to, Milo looks to Iskan, who's able to free himself from this, nods solemnly, and just walks to get in between Iskan uh, and this horrible creature. And you know what? Why not? We're going to light him up one more time. So light them up, 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 light them up, up, up. Ha! Yeah. Oh, jeez. Wow. Oh, my God. No, deck save, DC 14. Angry, <laughs> very angry. angry boy. The hearth is pissed. That's the that, power of the sun. That is a that is a twelve, which is a failure. Uh huh. Fifteen fire damage. It is in. 
engulfed in flame. All you can see is the bony silhouette of this creature as it is completely engulfed in flame. It thrashes and screams, a horrible sound as it whips around, the little tassels on its face ignited. It kind of rubs itself on the ground like a cat trying to get something off of its back, thrashing and wailing. It kind of goes back up to its feet and then stops like a marionette and then slowly its head turns towards you like a knocker, like a towards you. It is Damn. terrible looking, slightly singed and still standing. Come at me then! You almost sent his ass to another dimension. It's coming. Alrighty. That ends your turn, Milo? That ends my turn. Alrighty. Pretty simple turn order here. Uh, Gaius, the creature in front of you, is going to go for you. Let's go! Uh, that is going to be a 16 to hit you. Oh, that matches you, fuck. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that's, that's, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, you take six points of piercing damage. Ow. And two points of acid damage as it chomps down onto your shoulder and thrashes you on the ground until inevitably you kind of shove it out and kind of land into the bush beneath you. Ow. The one in front of you, Milo, kind of opens its jaw and just acid just drips out as it immediately lunges towards you. Flashbang, get a face full of Orin's blessed light. Disadvantage, natural one. Let's go. Ooh. I will roll severity here. Uh, go ahead, Milo, for me. Uh -huh. Get a mace swing in, cause this thing. Ha! Uh, and that hits. Blood. Okay, let's go. That hits. Oh. <laughs> mate, mate, mace. Seven. <laughs> Wow. Oh my Max Lord. damage. As this thing kind of like a dragon comes up on its back legs, ready to spit out acid on you, you just leap forward and baseball swing its bottom jaw off and the thing gurgles and scrapes at its face and as it does, claws down the length of its neck, slams down to the ground, kind of rides and then curls up dead. I can't fucking believe Milo woke up normal and won the match. <laughs> <laughs> Like a dragon? Really? Like <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, that ends the enemy's turn. Otho, it is now your turn. Uh, oh. Seeing as how the one that is closest to Kai is uh, dead now, Otho, Otho will uh, look over to Kai. Are you alright? No. Alright, stay there. We're almost done. Uh, and Otho is going to sprint over to the one that Gaius is fighting. Uh, and he is going to take a saber slash. All right. You flanking here. <laughs> plus, bless. Plus, bless. Oh, that'll probably do it. That's oh. a 23. Absolutely hits. <laughs> I suggest. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. All right, then. Rogue damage. Do it. Uh. Will it roll? Hello. Well, fine then. I'll roll on this sheet. Holy moly, that's 13 slashing damage. 13 slashing damage. This one is pretty healthy. It hasn't taken a whole lot of damage, but it definitely recoils as. Sorry, one second. Let me just redo my math here. I kind of pulled something up. Um, uh, that's 13. All right. You kind of go in and you slash down the length of its tail, taking off some of the legs, the centipede like legs, and just explosions of acid piss, piddle out of the leg sockets, splashing onto the ground. And this thing lurch and shrieks. Well, let's piddle some more. Bonus action dagger. You got it. Dagger. That's my favorite. That point. is likewise going to be a 23. 21. That hits. Go to roll damage. Remember not to add your modifier. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, that is, uh, one. <laughs> yeah, one point yeah. of damage. You give him the old stabby. You give him a little stabby in the socket. All right. <sighs> Otho, does that end your turn? Yes. All right, that brings us to Gaius. It is now your turn. All right, before I make flavor, let me see if I hit this thing. All right. Oh, oh. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You hold blasted. On. This will probably hit regardless. Bless Three, four, five, fifteen. 15. 15 plus 2, 17 absolutely hits. All right, let me roll damage. Ooh, 12 slashing. Not bad. You leap into the air and bring down. Oh, I lost my. Where'd my eraser go? Sorry, one second. Oh. Sorry. Oh, no. 
kind of need that to do health. Excuse me. Give me a moment. There oh, we no. go. Yeah. Why are you learning English? It's dry. As you bring down your weapon, what do you do? Oh, it do is I kill still him? alive. I... No, it is oh, still alive. Okay. Oh, okay. It's still alive? Okay. So, I want... When this thing goes to attack Otho, I use my the bottom of the bottom hilt of the curve of my blade to lurch its head close to me, and I DDT this motherfucker into the floor. Oh my god! You got it. You DDT it to the floor, and it kind of shakes its head and kind of lurches dizzy back to its feet, and then again, like that marionette, kind of locks back into a battle position. Let's go. <laughs> Alrighty, that ends your turn, Gaius. That's turn. Alrighty, it is now Lin's turn. Oh, Lynn, what do you want to do? We all know uh, what she wants to do. Oh my god, what does she want to do, though? Like, legitimately, though. <sighs> yeah, she doesn't have Bane anymore. Her favorite child is is, is injured. Yeah, but she knows Bane! that killing him is killing the enemy. What's the range uh, but... on their ability to absorb, do we? She is going to, yeah, she's going to rush over behind you guys, and she is going to heal you. And again, she says, sorry. She's going to cast Cure Wounds. But it's they're going, going to, be... to consume the heal. Uh, you what? get healed for Gai- uh, Gai, oh my god. You get healed for five, Gaius. Uh, and the creature, once again, absorbs the damage. I, okay, I, wa I want Lin to say sorry, and then fucking Gaius puts his hand in front of her like the Woody meme, let him cook. <laughs> and she is gonna take a couple of steps back and let you cook. Hell yeah! <laughs> All right, that ends Lin's turn. Eastgen, it is now your turn. Um, almost as quietly as you've ever seen, Eastgen is suddenly next to you guys. And Wait, his, what? I said let me cook. <laughs> his eyes are still lit uh, oh from the energy from his last thunder wave. Uh, and he's going to very silently just uh, swing with Mira's staff. Oh! Ho ho! That I, is I, a here. natural 20 for a total of four damage. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, he's cooking. That's still damage as you smack really down hungry. onto this creature. Uh, it's a sizable hit. You see that the eye socket gets sunken inwards. I was really hoping I would do more than five damage so that we could at least break even with Lin's heal, but you know what? It's I fine. did something. I'm it's I'm fine. proud of myself. Good job. <laughs> it was even though I looked like a burnt that. chicken nugget, I still love myself. Is that in your turn, e scan? Uh, yeah, I don't think I can do anything else. Okay. That brings us to Kai. It is now your turn. Uh, while this is all going on, Kai is just going to be trying to limp closer and closer and closer to get to here. Uh, he's going to use the corpse to brace the bow because he clearly can't hold it anymore. And he's going to, with everything he has left in his body, pull back one more shot to try to hit the one that Eastgon is fighting along with everybody All right. Else. Uh, and as he lets it loose, uh, and it, again, completely misses, he's just going to collapse. Oh. All right, that ends Kai's turn. Milo, top of the turn order, is now your turn. With fire still burning in. <laughs> oh, Gaijin? Oh, we uh -oh. lost Gaijin. With fire still burning. Oh, no, he's gone! Uh, uh, <laughs> apparently, the fire burning was his was his connection. That's the key code. The fire uh -oh. consumed him. FBI, let him back this in. This fire burns. Uh, boys, uh, you can let Gaijin, him back. are you there? Uh-oh. 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 Hold, please. Yep. CPU Hold, please. <laughs> Uh-oh. The fire truly was burning. Milo, no! Milo just incinerates C fucking <laughs> spontaneous combustion. <laughs> he becomes a fire elemental. Milo, Milo pulls in an, an, an annihilate play and becomes so angry that they die. I hate when that happens. Give Gaijin a bit here. Yeah, yeah. So oh the thing no, I'm... Gaijin lost his Just internet. Lost his internet. Oh no. Okay, he said he rolled a sixteen, which I will believe him on. But what was he doing? Okay, I believe you. 
Is he just probably swinging? gonna hit him. Probably gonna hit him with a mace if I if I had to. Yeah, he would hit ascertain. with a mace. I would assume so. Oh yeah, there, there he goes. goes. There he goes. There he goes. Aw. Now he's really gone. All right, he uh, he said Milo is running in with his mace. Screaming. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I could still. To the last him. one. Uh, I'll say roll a d6 of your own. Add. <laughs> roll real dice. <laughs> Lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> Boom. Boom. I trust him. I trust him here because this is Doing kind of an unfortunate old, circumstance. The old conk and bonk. Six damage. Six damage. <laughs> Damn. How do you want to kill it? <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> That's the first kill by somebody not in the game. Hey, kill by Roxy. <laughs> give me, give guys We're playing like two analog D and D, folks. This is great. This is classic. D &D. I kind of love this though. Yeah. This, is, this is role playing on AOL. Like, holy shit! Did anyone shit. ever Basically. play D and D through text? Yes. Uh, yeah, I did. Holy oh, shit, God, yeah. you guys! We are who... we are playing rogue like the original it's, game. Oh, here we go. Read it. It's A D and D. Yeah. Who wants to read it? Uh, I'll read it. With Start I'll do it. With, with, oh, go ahead. Oh, okay. Go go for it. No, go ahead, Connor. You're the, no, you're the you the you said you do it. No, all right. Fine. Well, you've got a website. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, how could I possibly argue? <laughs> Fucking damn it. <laughs> with bottom. For fuck's sake. Oh, is he typing more? I'm going to read the first part. With burning holy wrath in his eyes, he leaps up higher than he should and smashes down center skull. All righty. The creature, the entire head just cracks apart and it slams to the ground, kind of being held down uh, by the mace. And it kind of shakes and squirms until its body turns still and the whole entirety of it kind of curls inwards. All right. And with that... The battlefield comes to a calm. Should we should we take a break there? Yeah, I think here's a great. Should we, should we time see to if he wants to like head over to my? Uh, that like, that yeah. way yeah. that way he can jump back. Yeah. yeah, let's let's take a break here and see if we can uh, get this situation. Get him back. Here, good. Yeah. I the situation I need to run to the restroom anyway, so it's good time. Yep, there you go. It's fucking yeah. we did it, folks. All right, let me let me see if I if he wants to head over to my place to. All right. Yeah, no go do it. In the meantime, welcome into the Bosco Halftime Show. Oh, shit. You know how we be. Brought to you by my website. And by Lowe's. Lowe's! But why? We had a Lowe's open up in my town. It only stayed up for a year, and then it closed down. <laughs> I rest my case. Also, we are not sponsored by Lowe's. No, we're not sponsored by Lowe's. Not actually. Or are we? Because why? <laughs> exactly. You technically got a kill, oh. Bosco. Did I? I don't know. I don't think I did. I didn't hit anything the whole fight. <laughs> I rolled three nines and a 13. So I, I found the topic that I was talking about before, about the, or the orange juice. All natural, simply tropical juice has high toxic PFAS levels. Lawsuit alleges class action lawsuit. Coca-Cola claimed juice was healthy despite toxic for, for forever chemicals leveled hundreds of times above federal limit. Nice. Huh. Uh, so, by the way, we just got a 15,000 bit drop by B-52 makes a silent night. Here's bitch for victory. Uh... Have early morning. We'll catch rest later. Also, Vale 606, thank you for the five tier one subs. Sorry, Zito, go ahead. No, 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 it's fine. I'm, I'm talking about dour shit. I, I immediately just like anyone who drank simply orange juice or any other simply prog is just like, what the fuck? <laughs> so I'm sorry. Uh, me Kampachi with 95 bits. Bosco, you gave me a heart attack. I don't need Kai dying before I leave on my cruise tomorrow. Yeah, my be. My, my B, we good though. We good. We made it. We we hanging in there. Everything was okay. Everything's great. Only two people went down. Not even half. 
I got two. I got a double kill this round. I'm, I'm happy. Yeah, because you're a kill stealing Halo leaping motherfucker. Oh, okay. I can well, see the like Halo every... kill where you well, just... steal the one, turn, take the other one, and then jump up onto another platform. I can see it. You fucking ass. All right, I'll just let you die then. Shit. Yeah, you should have just let me die. Well, hold on. Let's not get hasty. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Excellent. But uh, yeah, Gaijin. thank you to all the folks tuning in live. We really appreciate it. Gaijin is claiming that his net is doing an in and out thing. It must have been fast maintenance. He's trying to get back in. Ah, okay. all nice. right. We'll yeah. we'll, not, we'll he, give him a. You just. Well, he can just walk next door. Oh, hey! There he is. There he is. Hey! Hey! Yeah, I, I think they're doing minor maintenance out there, so if I pop out, I'll probably just pop back in. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. No worries. Sweet. Oh, uh, you, you're, 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 leaving, you're leaving led to a, a pretty funny moment, so it's all good. You won! <laughs> I won! I won! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, That's never before have I ever one. wanted to look at the camera and be like, artist, you know what to do. <laughs> Yeah. I won! <laughs> I won! But I won! Oh, that doesn't work as well. Which, no. uh, by the way, since we have people here, I just want to mention, unfortunately, our, our slideshow is still, unfortunately, not updated. Um, Heartsy, unfortunately, is still not well enough to do things at the moment, so we're hoping that we can get that fixed sooner rather than later. But for now, we thank you guys for your patience, especially for you artists. Um, we're hoping to get the slideshow back into working order. Um, However, good good news for the artists. We probably will be doing an art show at the end of the month. So for the art yep. that hasn't been displayed in the slideshow, come check it out on the last Friday of February. Right, Connor? Normally? That's yeah. right. Uh, yeah. The 24th. Heck yeah. So if you want to see some art, because especially because we haven't had it in the slideshow, check it out. The art streams are back. We're just doing them once a month now. To showcase all of you. Are we, are we speaking, on break? Speaking of you. Yes, yeah, we are on break. Oh, we're on break. Okay. Yeah, we're on break. All right, I'll be right back then. And I, I promise yeah. I'll come back. Uh, Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the 50 bits. Hey, Bosco, any commercials on Sunday stand out to you? I really like the Binky commercial. I know it was a car commercial, but I thought that one was kind of clever. Uh, I actually, last night, I took a class with the guy who was in that commercial. It was crazy. Uh, I'm trying to think of another one that I liked. Uh... I'd have to think. I, honestly, the Binky one is the one that just stands out to me because he was in my class. That's the first one that comes to mind. Uh, Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 95 bits. It's okay, Bosco. Like Zito, have his skills. He never got to spend time with Orb Coon. That sentence hurts me to say, but also it, that is true. He did not. Uh, Siri, uh, Cyrus, thank you for the 50 bits. First time tuning in live. You guys give me serious Aki Baranger vibes. I, I will you mean you. Akiba Ranger? Uh, That's some, some okay, good, uh, I believe there, you. Bosco. Up in the line. Yeah. Killer Chansey, thank you for the 10 bits. When Mark started quoting Fallout Boy, the first thing that came to mind was be careful making wishes in the Lynn bashing dog twice with the shovel. Dark, dark. <laughs> oh, God. Boy. <laughs> Chocolate Zombie. Bosco would know all about kill steals in Halo. Enjoy the bits. 100 bits. Shut up, zombie. Good to see you. I mean, I watch, uh, him, I watch him kill steal all the time. I don't. First of all, you can't kill steal in SWAT. It's yes, one can. shot. Yes, no. No, yes, no, 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 no. Kill stealing. No, no, no. In Slayer, kill stealing is where you do all the work to get somebody down, then somebody comes in and takes the kill at the end and then finishes you off, and it's a double kill. Yeah. That's a kill steal. When uh, in SWAT, when you do all the work to finally, like, get somebody into a corner, you've been wasting all your ammo, and someone comes in out of the darkness with a fucking blade and just kills him that's also a kill steal. that's a big, that's a big no kill steal <sighs> just saying bosco do better I, that's bosco. not how that oh well, listen i'm not better i suck at the game you can let that you can fight that one with him all you want i'm right. just telling bosco to do better that's it the shit mm. <laughs> Skate I'm, better, Bosco. All, Bosco. I'm, all, I'm, all I'm saying is we can play on an even. The perk size. Thank you for the hundred bits. Wrong. Episode title: Rollover play dead. I'm ignoring you. Dice roller. Thank you for the bits. Well, those things were a cleric nightmare, but it was awesome. Uh, Magic Ninja Go. Thank you for the fifty bits. Anyone else fooled by the Tubi commercial that looked like it took over your TV? Uh, no. 
No, because one, Not I didn't watch personal. the Super Bowl, and two, oh, I don't have Tubi. Hey, really, That's really, loss. really quick. I'm here, but I got. I'm eating a Cliff Bar, so just in case we need to get. Oh, started. no, nice. Cliff. Yeah, do, no, do you? Callum oh. draws. Thank you for the five bits. When Milo's flashbang didn't work, I just p pictured the Persona element absorb sound effect. Oh, I know that nice. sound. Also, Chocolate Zombie. No, you'll never get me to play Halo. I don't like playing that. However, if they ever want to do a Jabroni Brawl server fight, I would totally open that up. Do you do any FPS in Zito? That's just not your I thing. I absolutely fucking do. So Dude. what are you? Are you a TF2 guy? No, I'm. Uh, <laughs> I, I I do COD? play TF2. Yes. Uh, Counter Strike. Oh, we should do some Counter Strike. Counter terrorist. Dude, dude listen, I'm, I'm telling you, there's Counter Strike, but then there's also Jabroni Brawl that runs on Source. I have to fucking have you guys play it at least once. What is so? What I, is Jabroni Brawl? Is it an FPS? It's it's a mod of Half Life Two Episode Two, but it's all the modded games from all the fucking like, uh, you know, all the modded game servers back in the '90s for Counter Strike and TF2. It's all those made into their own game. Hmm. So like race, uh, gun games, shit like that. It's all in its own it, game gotcha. now. Gotcha. It looks absolutely batshit insane. It is fucking I, so much fun. I, I watched you stream it once. I looked at the screen. I looked away to check something else. I looked back and something completely different was happening. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we have to play the sharded maps where literally it's infection. I'm sorry? It's, it's, it's infection, but... No, no, no! It's not infection. It's hidden. But the guy, the people who are hidden have to fart on people to win. That sounds disgusting. Oh, so you did say sharded, man. Yeah, that's what yes. I heard too, and I was like, "There's no way that's what he yeah, said." No, it's it's not sharded. It's called shitting. So here's a question, Zito. What's your go-to fighter of choice? Because you like to drop a lot of lingo from a lot of different games. What's your go-to fighter? Uh, which game? That's what or I'm just, asking. Are you a Street Fighter guy, Mortal Kombat? Oh, are you I'm Guilty more, Gear. I'm, are you? I am Street Fighter and Guilty Gear. Okay, so uh, you're going to play six? And you're playing Oh, stream? absolutely. I'm going to play six. Okay. I want to see how they, like, played up DJ, because a lot of his moves look really sick. I, I'm i stoked for six. I think a lot of the new outfits are pretty cool. I like. I, I can't wait to make. I can't wait to make the human centipede in the fucking creative mode. <laughs> when, when do we get? When do we get Marvel versus Capcom Four? That's what Dude, I. Dude, that kid, that fucking franchise is so dead. I'm yeah. just yeah. saying. Good luck I know what that. I want. I know what you want. It's just not realistic. It wasn't dude, infinite. I didn't want infinite. Dude, dude, listen. It's fine. I played two. I I ran. Uh, I ran. It was Ryu Spider. No, no, no. It was uh, Hayato. Just go play Injustice. It's kind of like no. Diet Marvel versus Capcom. I guess I played no. Hayato, Cable, and Spider Man. Just sitting here, the only fighting game I ever played and enjoyed was uh, Bloody Roar, the one where you turn into animals. Dude, Dude Bloody, Bloody Roar, Roar is my yeah. I'm gonna, Bloody hey, Monty, I want to do you one better. We actually redubbed one of the old I Bloody know, Roars. I know, I'm very aware. Oh, okay. I, okay. There hasn't right. been a Whoa. new Bloody Roar game in like fucking, when was the last Bloody two Roar decades. game? Two decades. Yeah, yeah, Bloody Roar 3, I think, was the last one, right? So hearing no, all you talk about, like, all these new games, no. I'm just sitting here just like, man, Bloody Roar hasn't had a release for, Here's like, Here's what I don't forever. understand. How do you have a game that is perfectly marketed towards the exploding furry community and you don't remake it? Yeah, like, it's just, you don't make it's it. It's so, it's hey, sitting Bosco? there That's waiting for people. Here, dude. Hey, Bosco, what, yeah. what, what company owns Bloody Roar? Konami, I think. Yeah. So there's your uh, answer. Yeah. I think. Anyway, we should probably get back into it, shall we? Yeah. Oh no, sorry. Is Activision. Everybody, is everybody back? I just have to interject. Uh, it I was Activision and Konami worked on it, so one of those. I happens. must interject. I, I'm not good. At, the only fighting game that I am good at is your only move is hustle. Uh, <laughs> nice. uh, all right. Is Do the hustle. Bum, 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 da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. All right. Let's get back to it. Did you finish eating Cliff, Gaijin? Yes, Cliff is consumed. Okay. Don't oh, know. well, that's a shame. Nobody Welcome tell Merton. Cooter. Yeah, I was gonna say Koo Eater's fucked. No. All right, let's get back into it. All right, let's go make some pachinko machines. I mean, games. As the battlefield kind of comes to a eerie calm, everyone kind of panting and assessing the damages. Lynn oh, kind of uses their... Yeah, go ahead. Immediately run over to Kai and, and sort of check on him. Uh, he's in very hurt? bad shape. Where are you hurt? Yeah, everywhere. My arm, one of my legs. Can I get somebody my over chest, here, please? I'm coming. I'm coming. Lynn says as she kind of <laughs> walks over. Brisk is about the maximum of her speed. Milo and Gaius, you will see Iskan's eyes 
very slowly dim back to their normal. And the minute all traces of light vanish from his eyes, he's just dropping to the floor and sitting down using Mira's staff to kind of prop himself up. Uh, oh, you get, okay. You get healed for five. Uh, five? Kai. Okay. Yeah. So, Milo, for all you Cowboy Bebop fans out there, you remember episode one with the overdose of the red eye? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm listening. You have my attention. That's kind of him right now. Just oh, shit. Like, all muscles are tensed and flexed, uh, to constant breathing, gritting of teeth. I think I think that's the first anime reference you've made that I actually get, and I'm so happy. Oh, there you go. Well, watch more anime, Bosco. Shut up, Mark. <laughs> yeah, keep those eyes open. So we're in recovery, ro recovery mode. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Rare recovery road. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I guess we're seeing to... Uh... We're seeing to East Can while everyone else is seeing the Kai, I assume. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll you'll see East Can kind of like hold his hand up, trying to like what you would recognize as heal himself, and nothing happens. That's code maybe for I am out of spell slots. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that guy just like like puts his hand down and just makes him like prop his back up against the staff as he like puts it into the floor. Or you hear a snapping noise behind you all as you look at one of the corpses of one of these creatures, and its head just uh. unnaturally twists and kind of snaps and looks towards you, and you hear sort of a wheezing laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so this is who is helping you, and here I was worried. Did it go back down or is it moving more? It's like looking at all of you. I'm I'm about ready to fucking just lift my axe and cut this thing's head off. Yeah, nobody's stop stopping you. you. Uh, uh, Gotho will raise his hand and just sort of stay looking at it. No, how about I uh, prepare an arrow? For first my birds, and now my hounds. <laughs> <laughs> You're strong in a sad kind of way, but, well, we'll see how long this haunted strength lasts you. Word you tongue, think? I presume? Yeah. Not in the flesh, I am afraid. You're elusive, a lot of you. Makes the game more fun. But it is a losing game. I wonder how long it'll be before you give up. <laughs> it's not worth it, you know. What? Oh, see if that's... oh. Your lives for this forgotten place. The head kind of lurches towards Lynn. Forgotten people. Forgotten hope. Your interruptions will not end this. But I love seeing you try. And the head just snaps upwards, and the whole thing just crumples back to the ground. Such hollow threats. He's trying to mess with us, Lynn says. It's just kind of helping you back to your feet, Kai. Thanks. Big talk. So that was <sighs> coming to the battlefield himself. <clears throat> so that was the man himself. A mouthpiece, at the very least. Mm. She kind of looks towards you, Kai. She goes, Kai, I have no words for you. This is punishment enough. Uh, How is everyone doing? Are you able to move? Or should we rest? I'm fine, but I think we should find somewhere else to sleep. I'm out here. Falls over. 
I don't know about you, but I don't know if I can go very far. <laughs> Lynn, do you think... Is this it? Is this all of them, for now? If you were going... If we he was going rest, to set... but we can't move. If he was going to try and kill us, he would have sent more. This is probably all he had in this area. <laughs> I want us rested before we hit Emerald Cairn. I don't know what's there. Then we should continue resting. We <clears throat> should. Perhaps we should move away from the beast. Their smell is cultured. Uh, Milo just haphazardly staring down at that one that he just engulfed. Just one quick, petty little slam of the mace down on its head. Turns that turns back. All right. Let's get going then. So, uh, I, I look over to Lim. Not for, you know, <clears throat> clarification or whatnot. What did we just kill? I don't know. I have not been this far west for some time. I well, heard saying... rumors of centipede dogs, but I had no idea they were capable of this. She looks back at Guy as he's writing in his book, with a gleeful smile on his face. If I had to guess, this is some sort of invention by Wormtongue. And she kind of looks towards you, Milo. Perhaps as a direct counter to people such as us. Well, I guess that just means he's afraid, then. Indeed, he must be. And... Still... We shouldn't underestimate him. No. If he's able to spy on you so conveniently, <clears throat> that means he's more powerful than we think. He was able to kill an ogre wife. Definitely powerful. Indeed. But it seems his power has limits. He has not come to meet us personally, and for that we should be thankful. Uh, one thing, Lynn, actually. We know that he's scrying, but I, I don't know much about how that works, so... Is there some way that you and I could, I don't know, take turns, scanning, searching, detecting magic, see if there's any way we could figure out if that's happening? I don't know. There is a spell that could help us, and there are items that I know can also help us, but such things are difficult. If it helps at all, I haven't noticed it in a while. That is good. I think Although we were that's... just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Indeed. I will look into this. My resources, though, are justifiably lacking. But what's important right now is we must rest before we are accosted once more. You don't have then to let's tell get me to it. You guys, guys can you help me out? Oh, sorry. I'll be, I, um. Iskan, how bad you hurt? Really bad. All right, all right, just, just, come here, get still. And healing hands. Oh, three. <laughs> you have tripled my health, thank you. <laughs> oh, well then. Yep, just lift them up arm over shoulder <laughs> just by the scruff <laughs> no 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 <laughs> not that fucking rubbish. like a mama jesus I just, christ guys like a not that much life. of a neanderthal guys come on guys no, is I a got mama you. lioness <laughs> all right you guys I'll, walk I'll, for a while Kai over yeah lynn kind of spearheads the journey forward with her own light that she puts on her shovel eventually finding kind of a bit of a divot in the ground and she kind of points and goes you may all sleep there. I'll keep an eye out. Thank you. The minute he's down, he's gonna is out. <laughs> he's just going to bed. I'm taking a fucking swig of ale. That was that's a, that's ready for anything. Yeah, I'm taking a swig of ale. Kind of, it kind of burns a little bit. You have some, you know, cuts in your mouth that you were, were aware of from the fight. Mm. But... Yes, <laughs> it goes down. Ah, it goes right through me. Yep. <laughs> Squirts out a hole. <laughs> That's my tenth one today. Just like goes as out the rib cage like a skeleton. <laughs> as you all rest for the night, all kind of in a basically a sleeping hole, for lack of a better term. Throughout the night, some of you kind of like your eyes kind of crack open just because you're not used to not having someone on watch, you know, who's you. But you do manage to catch an occasion, Lynn, 
kind of pacing around the hole, stopping occasionally and sitting down. She seems to be very, very vigilant with her watch right now. Mm. But as time passes, even when the light, light in quotation marks, hits your eyes, you guys continue to sleep, and luckily your rest goes unabated. You all gain the benefits of a long rest. Yay! Yay. <sighs> uh, the aid is gone, obviously. Uh, yeah. That's fine for me. Lynn also technically gets a rest back because she can stay awake. Um, which is hysterical. Her aid actually brought me back up to full. Yeah, nice. Um, guys and myself shall get a a sun toast breakfast bonus. Hooray! I thought you were gonna say sun toast breakfast burrito, and I was very confused. You know what? Can I renege that and just make it a burrito <laughs> out of nowhere? <laughs> Bread no, burrito? Not, not, none for me, thanks. Bread makes you fat. <laughs> bread bread Wait, makes bread. you fat? Bread makes you fat? <laughs> Chicken's not vegan? <laughs> Next thing you're gonna tell me, I'm gonna have to fight eight of my ex husband I almost said ex husbands. Ex husbands? <laughs> Whoa! 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 The Milo lore just expanded. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry, Milo's my brain expanded universe. Bro, Milo Pilgrim versus the Alabama. I, I can see why they kicked you out of the clergy. You are about to be fucking 2010's most popular graphic novel. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, Milo, I imagine you make like a, a decent meal in the morning for everybody. Yeah, I will make the yeah. attempt. Also, apologies. Right. Allergies are kicking my brain. No worries. No, no worries. Bad, right? Uh, everybody write off a ration because, you know, you threw it in the pot like a, yeah. you know, breath of the wild and let it cook. Pot ration. Um, Lynn does not eat anything. She just seems to be kind of looking towards your destination. The thrill of battle is all the sustenance I need. She, no, not at all. She seems, more, <laughs> she seems very irritated, don't, like don't just fuck, kind of annoyed. Don't not towards you, you but just, man. yeah, but more towards like everything. She doesn't seem to be a very like not annoyed person. She's very, very just, ordinary. Yeah. This is pretty standard for her, actually. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty standard. But as you all kind of eat and kind of clean up and pack your thing, she goes, we've wasted plenty of daylight. We should get to move on. Let's go. I'm not sure Let's I agree with it. wasted, but I agree with moving. Uh, apologies. I'm not used to traveling with others. It's been forever. Yes, forever. Yeah, forever. She kind of nods. This is the first time in a very long time that I've traveled with other people. I'm not exactly oh. a road trip enthusiast. Well, we're glad to have your company. I, I'm glad to have yours as well. Let's go. She starts walking. Well, <laughs> does Milo need to make another friend? It'd make a friendship <laughs> roll. <clears throat> and by that, I mean make a cinnamon roll and add a dash of friendship to it. <laughs> right, watch out for guys... Kim Alex. Continue. Oh my god. That's how you get a power puff coils. You guys it proceed forward. Me. The forest gets ominously thicker, but eventually opens up, and your travel goes unabated oh, as good. you begin to see in the distance a very small. Uh, it's a village. It was probably once very occupied. It is just an empty husk of a town with wind just gusting through. Empty homes lie sort of creaking with their doors like Welcome to Blight Town. Notably, as you enter, all of you would have noticed that this, unlike Banier's Bend that had some like a wall and like protection around it, this place is just open to everything. Um, and Lynn kind of looks back and goes, I am not one who has a decent amount of investigation ability, but given the openness of this location and the very large graveyard that it contains, I can only imagine the horrors that occurred here when the ash plague took hold of Easton Vale. She kind of looks around. You see that dome-like structure over there? She points across the hill. I assume we see it, so... You do, you see, it's kind of, it's not huge, it's like small, but it definitely stands out because every other shape is like square, and then you just see like this rounded thing in the middle of a large field. That is the can that we're going to be doing the disenchantment in. Great! 
At least it's well protected. That wise. remains to be seen. Be on your guard. Like I said, there's a large <clears throat> graveyard here, so I have my suspicions that creatures no doubt have taken up residence in this town. The last time we cleansed one of these pearls, the dead rose up out of the ground all around us. Indeed. The Would curse like... takes... No, go on, Gaius. Would it not be wise to do clean up now before we actually start the cleansing? That is what we're going to find out once we get to the cairn. I have heard rumors that creatures such as the one that it sounds like you fought on the road may take up residence here, so be on your guard. They're fast and wicked and can hurt quite badly. Wait, My hope which is creature we fought on the road? There were a lot. The one you mentioned on your way to Banyar's Band you told me about, with the dragonborn gentleman. <clears throat> Oh, the, the gray, the, the ones with gray the claws. Men. With the claws, oh. yes. I've oh. heard a similar description of creatures here, so again. What did you call them? Ghouls? They are ghouls, and some of them come in a form known as a gas, sort of alpha of the ghouls. I see. Iskan's eyes start doing that thing where they're looking in multiple directions. <laughs> As she walks, she kind of slows next to you, Milo, and goes, to be honest with you, Mr. Brightbeam, I'd much rather with those than those creatures we fought the other night. I would heavily agree with that. We'd have better control, definitely. Perhaps next time we encounter such beasts, we may want to focus target one down and definitely keep together. And she kind of looks uh, back. She sees Kai, and she kind of looks back to you and goes, he's beating himself up. He might need some... And she kind of waves her hand absently. <laughs> Moral boost. I don't know. I'm not good at it, but I figured I'd just <laughs> mention it. The one thing that I've learned about Kai is there's something about him that he's done some amazing things. I just, I wish he could tap into what he's naturally good at and do it. it it's hard some to explain. People don't see that. It's easy to see from the outside, but it's hard to see on the inside sometimes. Uh, Len. Well, I got you. Mm -hmm. If there is any kind of time, could you could we sit down and you just tell me everything you know about the different undead creatures we might be fighting? That is a tall order, Mr. Brightbeam, and you must forgive me when my priorities are not in education. I understand it. Preservation. As long as they can die again. That is what is important. You and see her say that. Both Gaius Milo rolled an insight there. Oh boy. Oh! <laughs> I'm good at this, I think. No, no Matilda, 18. not you. <laughs> cat curiosity. Roll the cat. Oh, oh. The cat. Uh, Matilda got a three. Let me re-roll. <laughs> Milo, uh, uh -huh. as she says, as Gaius says, well, at least they can die again. Lynn goes that I hope for, and you get the sense that she's not talking about the other undead. <laughs> is that is that in a hopeful manner of, God, I hope I die, or...? That is an angry manner. She seems very angry <laughs> when oh. she says that. It woke yeah. me back up. She seems kind of pissed when, when even that... Uh, oh! Up. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, she is a Hoketh cleric, so being in her state is probably not great. So. Oh, I'd imagine being undead, the one thing that you hate most all in life is, uh, ugh. Everybody, roll a perception check as you make your way through the desolate, empty, ghost, am... literal ghost town of... So percepting! Oh, Natural one! Woo! Seven! Two. Nineteen! And I'm here, too! Thirteen. <laughs> Uh, Kai, uh, I almost said Kai. Uh, I was gonna say, wait a second, I had the lowest roll! <laughs> they're far off now. Yeah, joking. you may want to check uh, again there, Bosco. <laughs> uh, no, Eastcan, I had a lower roll than you, you just rolled the nat one. Eastcan and Otho, as you walk through this town, you do hear the sound of like, <clears throat> and like, kind of like, there's no wind again, which throws you off really hard, yet there is sort of a weird breath to this place, but it's really quiet. Uh, I really hate this. As Never you liked ghost towns. 
as you turn the corner, Iskan, you see up ahead down the path, slumped in the back of like a cart that's just rotted away, a, some sort of body that's slumped downwards. The head is completely invisible. Wait, everybody, hold on. There's something up there. We better be careful. What do you see? Pulls out her shovel. It's a body, but I can't make out the head. It's in that cart right over there. Is it, it Monty, is it too out of my reach? Uh, define reach. Uh, height. <laughs> no, it is like right at your height, probably. Okay. It's like slumped. It's like, it's like hanging forward on like, you know how like a wagon has like the little box that is like where the people go? It's like, mm -hmm. it's torso is hanging off of the side and it's like it like the hands are on the ground like it's just slumped there it i'll, I'll go check it out uh i will a approach this thing okay. is it possible to hold the dodge action sure yeah you can hold the dodge okay action. i will hold Try dodge to... action holding my shield up as you approach sure enough you see that it has those long claws that you remember mm -hmm. and it's like head is touching the ground and it's unmoving yeah that, that that's a cool you get closer or move it or touch it you know what i'm gonna do um i'm gonna sacred flame it okay you from a safe from a safe distance you sacred flame it and it doesn't move and it burns up and as the sacred flame dissipates the body is just kind of scorched and just lays there unmoving well at least it's still getting back up wait but why? I think it'd be moving after something like that. No, I mean, why didn't it get up? Um, shifty eyes. Uh, it, it, it's dead. Something here came before us then and ended its existence. That's the idea. But well, I'm not really sure. That's not, that's not how it works here. Remember, nothing stays dead in Eastonvale. They were burning the bodies in order to make sure that they didn't rise back up. The undead continue to come back here. That's the whole deal. Lynn kind of walks forward. Keep your eyes open. I have a bad feeling about this. Money, could we do some kind of investigation to determine whether there was a fight? Like, tracks, uh, broken objects at angles, scuff, things of that nature? Or is it too desolate? Sure, go for it. Nature investigation? Survival or investigation of your choice. I'm going survival. Everyone can make this roll, by the way. <laughs> so... Oh! I had a net 20 on the other There's side. There's gonna be an investigation. It's an 18 for survival. Six, from East seven. East. Also, Wait, apologies for I? sniffling. You're good. How dare you Better. be human? Don't you dare sniffle. Sinuses Ever. in my D&D? &D? <laughs> it's more likely than you think. Is Kai gonna roll? Yeah. Oh, I guess I can. Is it for everybody? Yeah, yeah it's yes. for everybody. Yeah. Uh, also, Otho, you rolled investigation, not survival. We can choose. You can choose whichever. One or the other. You can do investigation uh, or survival of your choice. Good yeah. job paying attention, boss. Four. Four. All right. All of you kind of look around, uh, but Eastcan, you notice as you kind of look inside one of the buildings that there's another one of these creatures that is inside of the building, clearly was thrown through the window. Uh, oh. It has a massive slash mark from shoulder to gut, and it's just organs are spilled out, and it is just on the ground dead. Am I able to tell what kind of slash? Like, does it look like it came from a weapon or more like a, some sort of natural creature? Like with, that, uh, with that investigation check, or sorry, rather survival check, you know exactly what weapon it is. It is a massive sword. It's a huge sword. Did this? Great sword. One of the creatures over there has a giant sword wound. That that paladin we saw a while back. Did he wield a sword? Paladin? Oh, the, the dragonborn. dragonborn guy. Uh, no, he had a, I believe, a warhammer. If I'm not mistaken. Ah. Wait, 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 wait. What what about that that one orky fella that that you said was was dipping around town? I also, saw him again in town. Did he have a sword? You didn't see any weapons on him, no. 
It looked like he probably had them on his side if he had them. Uh, uh, he Otho shakes his head. Uh, weapons this large. I, uh, weapons he had were on his side. I didn't see anything on his back. All right. You hear a voice call out. I found something over here. Head on over here. <laughs> Wait, before we do that, can we double check and make sure Lynn is not currently where we are and it's not someone throwing a voice? No, it, Lynn is, you literally turn okay. around and Lynn is like just up making the road a little sure. bit, kind of beckoning you. <laughs> I've made that mistake before. I just want to it's make like sure. It's like paranoid. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> ah, very well. Let's head over. I found something strange. He kind of points. What do you make of this? Uh, and you see a bunch of footprints. Um, and anybody who wants to can roll survival or investigation on them. Please roll something better. <laughs> 13. 18. Oh my god, seven. Oh. Dude, that's your third seven. Jackpot. Jackpot. 10,000. Where's my freaking right. money? Well, <laughs> immediately, uh, guys, you know the site of a fight anywhere, um, as this appears to be where the fight uh, probably took place. Uh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of scrapes on the ground and a lot of movement. Uh, let's see. Milo, mm -hmm. uh, I'll save you for last. Oh. Uh, Otho, you notice immediately that there are large gouge marks in the ground and around on different structures, uh, similar to the body that you found in the house. Uh, and you kind of look around, you notice currently like cut in half in pieces, more of these ghouls just on the ground. Uh, and you just see, based off of the large gouge marks in the ground, whoever did this is a very formidable fighter and is probably wielding a great sword specifically. Uh, Eastcan, as you look on the ground, the footprints immediately catch your attention because they're not human footprints. The footprints suggest something like, um, lizard-like in nature, two legs, lizard-like, and there's clearly a tail. You can see that there's clearly a tail mark in the, in the ground, in the gravel. Uh, and Milo... Is it, is, is it similar to anything I have seen before in terms of, like, specific lizard-like uh, entity? Um, no, because that I feel like that's a little outside of this check. Uh, it's Fair too enough. little to go off of. Um, whoever this individual, individual is, though, you can tell that they're heavy um, and that they definitely were fighting here. Um, and Milo, mm -hmm. you find amongst the large lizard-like footprints and the various ghoul footprints, a set of very small footprints. Oh. I, I put my foot into the small footprint. Uh, smaller than yours. Ooh! Uh, and you do see some blood as well. That's pretty obvious. You do see some blood on the ground. Does the blood trail anywhere? It seems to be trailing at what appears to be the northwest, which is the direction you are currently going. Oh, towards, towards the dome? <laughs> good. Is it towards the dome? It seems to be going towards the dome. At least down the main city street. Oh, goody! Well, whatever fight happened here it was it was a pretty big one. I mean, there's not much to it. We'd, we'd have to press on. All right. Keep an eye out for Take someone wielding yeah. a great sword. I will say, whatever happened here, I, I think it definitely has strengthened the soul of Lizard Man. I hate you. I knew God that damn you, it. Because you weren't talking in character voice. I was like, this is going to be a dumb fucking This joke. is a bit. <laughs> <laughs> As you all proceed forward, you notice going down, and at this point you all notice it, every single door down this street has been busted open. Damn. Rating. It's almost like this place was cleared out. Like... Someone came through intentionally looking for something to fight. Can I check to see if the doors were busted open from the outside or from the inside? Go ahead and roll an investigation check. Uh, 16. As you run up to one of them, very clearly you can see there is a footprint, that same lizard-like footprint on the door that clearly has bashed it forward into the room. You may be right, Mr. Seatlolly. All of these were busted in from the outside. Whoever this person, this individual was, they were 
clearly looking for a fight. And relentless. I think we should stay on our guards. Holds staff ever so tighter. Ever so tightly. Those XP farmers. <laughs> Someone came through and PvP'd all the NPCs. As as the you guys continue on, the bleeding eventually stops. Interestingly enough, the bleeding trails into a building, and then it, that's where it ends. Actually, uh, you notice as you look inside too that there is a curtain missing. Like someone jumped into it or tore it down. It looks like someone tore it, tore it, like ripped it off. They were and with those investigation room. and survival checks, you get the sense that whoever it was came in here and ripped the curtain, and the bleeding stopped. So maybe that's what they used. Ah, uh, uh, launch, launch the flow of blood. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as you proceed forward, uh, you see more dead ghouls. Some of them are just gored onto things. Uh, there's one that's like entire head is just gored on a fence post. And its body is just like slack. Um, you notice that every single door as you walk down, even even with the bleeding stop, you just see it's busted open. And is like slowly like <laughs> back and forth in the same sort of way. Hey, uh, Lynn? Yes. Remind me again what kind of rumors you heard about this place? I've heard rumors that the dead. Given the large graveyard, that the influx of dead here was quite large. I would imagine that since then it would have dispersed, but looking at this, many creatures probably stayed here. Or did. She says she looks up and you see like there's literally like like a like a clothes hanger and there's just a ghoul that's just like slung over top of it. Uh at least someone ironed him out, good. Yes. H how long that was ago not a would character? You say... How long ago would you say those rumors started? It's been a year or more, Mr. Seed Lolly. Time is strange here. Not to say that it is in any way, shape, or form different, but I don't keep track. Can we tell how fresh these tracks have been? Uh, with those checks, these are fairly fresh, actually. So it's probably likely that someone finally decided to come check it out. Yes, we did quite a thorough job, though. Hmm. This, this is all hypothesis, but this feels well beyond the efforts of some sort of well-paid bounty hunter. No, Sitting this has walking. a fury behind it. Uh, notably, as well, Milo, uh, those small footprints kind of only were present during the fighting area as well. They seem to be gone now. Len, do you know if there is any other holy order that might have come through here? No. Uh, uh, Not at the top of my head. Careful now, we're reaching the cairn. On your guard. Clutches staff Great even bags. ever so tightly. -er. She's got her she's got her shovel out already. She kinda uses it as like a walking stick a little bit, but now she's kinda just like holding it like a cocked gun, like, <laughs> like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's the, it's gonna the have his shot from, equipped. It's the shot from fucking scary movie. <laughs> Right. As you guys begin to head up kind of like an incline, it sort of like goes up and there's sort of an even ground and you begin to see, sure enough, gravestones, um, grave heads, different uh, mausoleum-like areas. Uh, Lynn kind of walks over she goes, this is where commonly most commoners were buried. Those from major cities tended to want to be buried here as it was once upon a time a well-established graveyard. She kind of walks past. You see there's like an open hole where something probably once was and is now empty. At least it was, once upon a time. Are they all vacant? Like, all of these? No, some of them are still filled. Um, okay. Some of them clearly something cl like clawed out from within it. Um, it's in various degrees of disrepair and just like there's a sort of hauntingness to it. Um, and you can see the dome-like structure up ahead. And uh, 
all of you hear a twig snap in the woods. There's kind of like a circle of trees around this space. You hear a twig snap to the right of you. Immediately e turn. looking. Yeah, e turn. Shing. You see a massive form just kind of standing in the woods, currently with a bow and arrow pointed at you, and you see a massive black dragonborn. His eye has been like wrapped over, currently wearing like what looks like really nice armor that has definitely been scratched and dented, currently pointing an arrow at you and says, if I were you, I wouldn't move. I've had enough bullshit today to deal with goddamn bandits. You mistake us, sir. We are not here for grave robbing or banditry or anything of that sort. You know, you travel with one of them. He points the arrow towards Lynn. And she kind of snorts at that. I'm not asking. Drop your weapons now. You wouldn't remove an old lizard from his walking stick. <laughs> uh, I guess. Kind of looking around at both at every... Actually... He's kind of scanning the tree line to see if there's anybody else. All right, go ahead. Uh, 15. You don't see anybody else in the tree line, but you, as you kind of like, you know, you're keeping your eyes on this guy, your eyes kind of trail down to the ground. You notice that the feet go towards this dome thing and there's like a the smaller set of footprints you then see next to them heading towards this dome thing. He is clearly by himself in the woods right now, pointing an arrow at you. Ga Gaius, I want to roll an insight real quick on this man. I like, would to because I because I want to flavor something if I get a good roll. Sure, go for it. I'm I'm also curious if he's incredibly never desperate. Never mind. Oh Jesus! Fuck me. Just never mind. Go ahead and make your roll, and then I'll do my thing. I'm sorry. Seventeen. Dude. Milo, as you look at him and he's pointing the arrow at all you, you see his eye quickly dart towards the dome. And kind of dart back to you guys and any sort of looking towards that location or anything kind of you can get a sense of him he's looking very agitated and after a bit of time passes, he goes i'm not joking drop the weapons now gaius drops all three of his axes i didn't need them you next he points towards you again i'll very slowly place my staff on the ground and as uh he's standing back up he'll kind of under his breath just to everyone nearby he seems to be alone for now, but there might be someone in the dome behind us. The rest of you, I'm not joking around, drop them now. And you, and he points towards Lynn, you get behind them. My will, okay. Oh, go ahead. You go ahead. Otho will, will make a, a, a show of, of uh, throwing his saber down in the mud or in the dirt. Uh, far away from him. Darn. I was picturing mud. Yeah, no. Lynn Less kind of be. Lynn kind of like places the tip of her shovel on the ground and then like goes lets go of the handle as it clatters to the ground and she just goes Ah yeah, it's always the friendly welcome. She goes behind you guys, just kind of a little annoyed by this. Supposed to be called dead, probably. But she kind of crosses her arms and stands behind all of you. Milo will place his mason shield down, but only directly in front, calmly, look out at him, and just humbly say, If there's someone in trouble, we can help you. Shut up. Rest of you. Now. All of them. I think that was everyone. That was everyone. Right. We all put our weapons down. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I'm so sorry. I will put my boomerang down. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, of course. I love the classic. I said all of them, and then fucking he said he pulls out a boomerang. He just it. like he just pulls it turns off his, his sleeve sideways, and a fucking boomerang falls out of his sleeve. <laughs> That's not mine. I don't know where it came from. Keeping the arrow trained, he goes twelve paces to your left now. What is exactly twelve paces to our left? Just away from your weapons, it seems to be. Right. I am telling you, sir, this is highly unnecessary. Move away from the weapons and we'll talk. All right. Let's talk then, everyone. You guys move. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going dead last. Okay. I'm going dead last. I'm going to stare at him. I, uh, I'll back up, but I would love to have a uh, guiding bolt at the ready. Okay. I would like to see if... I can make a show of 
turning in that direction to head that way and use my other side eye to peek towards the dome. Okay. You Go crazy ahead, lizard. Check. You crazy lizard fool, you can do that. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> the one thing I'm good at is seeing things. 14. You see what appears to be a small form that's got like a blanket over them or like part of that curtain. You're not sure what. Um, and as your eyes kind of catch it, you hear him say, I said eyes on me towards you, Eastcan. I'll turn back towards him and continue to sort of side shuffle. He kind of steps forward. You can see him unshouldering that great sword and kind of brings it down in front of him with one hand. He kind of looks towards all you and goes, who sent you? Point back towards Lynn. Yeah, yeah for real. real. <laughs> <laughs> we just hold, we all collectively- just throwing Lynn under the bus of this. We collectively <laughs> hold her up, all of us. <laughs> yeah, you guys all- Give me Spongebob! I like to imagine you guys break between, like you kind of make a valley that reveals her and she looks towards both of you and goes, oh, for fuck's sake. No one sent us. We came here of our own volition. And who do you serve? <laughs> our current mission <sighs> resides with her. Who we serve is none of our is is not something that we know of. And who do you serve? Then kind of blinks twice slowly, like SpongeBob, like Gleep. Thank you. Hokath, if you can believe it. I would like everybody to roll a general charisma check, please. General Boy. charisma. He's been promoted. Natural Ooh. 20. Let's wow. go, Zito. By the way, Mon well. Monty, Monty, I just want you to also know that you thought that Gaius moved away from his weapons. He didn't. Oh, I assume he wouldn't have talked had you not. So oh, well, that, all right, fine. Yeah. Then I'll, move, I'll move over then, fine. We had yeah. to. It was 12 paces, so that Can would be for everybody. Man. I wanted to say something, but yeah. Ha <laughs> Eight. Can can this be guidance, Monty? No. Don't worry, Zito's, he's, Zito's he's got the carry mentality. He's watching you like a hawk right now because he's missed the diplomacy you. over here. Natural. Hey! Oh! I canceled out the twenty. I canceled out the twenty though. Eighteen. It's all up to you, Kai. Put on Four. that smiling face. Oh <laughs> great! Hey. Oh yeah, that's that's a failure. That's four wait, wait, failures and three might successes. Pass. Lynn might yeah, pass. Lynn. Lynn, Lynn rolled pretty well, actually, despite her charisma being questionable. She, uh, she rolled decently. Um, the Dragonborn, which, by the way, he is a monster. He's huge. This dude's fucking massive. Not only is he incredibly tall, like, he's probably got a head on Eastcan. He's also, like, ah. I'm just gonna say, he's he's girthy. He's, he's he a square? wide boy. He's, he's right. very square, yeah. He I can't believe he... we ran into fucking Mando. <laughs> he is wearing a partial, like a sort of cloak over his shoulder, and Gaius, you would definitely get this now seeing him more clearly. This is not your average self sword. Something about this guy screams you like this guy's got some martial prowess to him. Uh -huh. um, but he does look really haggard. Um, he's definitely wounded in places. You can especially see like his eye in particular. He's wrapped it with this cloth. Uh, and you do see that there's definitely some score marks in his armor, and you can do you do see like some caked on blood in various parts of the cloth bits of his armor. Um, his legs are out, and you now see those lizard like feet, these very long clawed feet, and he has a long tail, like a very thick tail behind him, kind of on the ground. And his great sword, again, very nicely made. This is not you go to a marketplace and buy a great sword. This looks custom made for this man. Mm -hmm. um, and as he kind of approaches and looks at you all, he goes. Where do you hail from? All over. Runnel, most immediately. Runnel. Do you do you have maps of this place? Um. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Torn between immediately busting them out and not aggravating this guy, Eastgun very very nervously. Yes, I'm I'm a map maker actually. Did you come? Did you come from the east? We came from the south. Well, Southeast. from the south and then, yes. You immediately see him kind of loosen up a little bit. And his eyes immediately now, not so secretively, kind of turn towards the dome and look back. And he kind of looks at you, Milo, and looks at Lynn, but then kind of looks away from Lynn and looks at you. you. <laughs> I? You can heal. That I can. You heal sickness? With the proper time and care, yes. Kind of takes a moment to think. All right. 
I might not have given off the best first impression. You must understand that my situation is a little dire at the moment. Well, considering what happened, you didn't really give us a chance to understand. I don't know who you are. And to be honest with you, right now, I'd rather you all dead than alive. You're a liability, but... You look like someone who holds a title or some kind of... I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. You look like someone who holds a title. Chopping someone down instantaneously for no reason doesn't seem like someone with a title would do. You're bold to assume I wouldn't have a reason. Oh, I'm sure you would. Self-defense is quite the one, is quite the common one. You seem more decorated plus, than that. Plus this place is teeming with thugs and bandits. But, as you pointed out, uh, we are capable of healing, and uh, I don't mean to be too forward, but if you're in a hurry to help your friend back there, we probably should. All right, we'll make a deal then. You may pick up your weapons. You may help me, but you cannot ask any questions. That's fine, we're not here for you. He unshoulders his sword and sheaths it back behind him. It's a solid thunk. It's like, oh, that's a big old piece of metal. You, he points towards you, Milo. Mm -hmm. You're going to help me. I was going to do that anyway. He kind of turns. There's a sweep of his cape as he walks towards the dome. He seems very hurried. The dome is rather weird. It's almost like a... Um, I'm going to draw it so you guys will understand here, just so there's no confusion about how this thing works, because it's kind of a weird structure. If you look in the top right corner here, and I'll move the camera for the audience to see what this looks like. Yeah. Bing, bing. Oh, how dare you? I'm going I'm to draw this look so you can see what this looks like. I love that commercial. <sighs> oh, that commercial fucking slaps. So it's kind of like it goes into the earth, like a bowl. Mm -hmm. And then there's a pillar in the middle. <gasps> and then there's like a, there's like a lid on top. So there's an opening <sighs> here and here, if that so makes sense. It's, so it's an amphitheater. Kind of, yeah. Where, where, um, sorry, where are you drawing this? I don't see it. In top the top right. right corner. I just drew it. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So it's like there's a bowl at the bottom, there's a pillar, and then the pillar holds up a roof, which essentially is just like a big dome. So it's like um, a mushroom almost. Yeah, kind of like a mushroom, but it, it goes into the ground. It has like a bowl. And as you go inside, you see a four-year-old human girl uh, oh. currently wrapped in a um, in a curtain, and she is fraught with fever right now. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Poor thing. All right, all right, let me get through, let me get through. The Dragonborn watches you like a hawk, Milo. <laughs> I, I want you to come with me. I look to him and ask him to come with me. Very well. He follows. Can you tell me exactly what happened? I don't know. I don't... I don't know. That's okay. That's okay. It just happened. I, that's fine. I understand. It could be stress. She's not used to traveling. I don't know. All right. Once I get to her... And this would be the point where I would absolutely be asking for um, divine assistance. Can I medicine check her and uh, guidance myself? You may, yes. Okay. Uh, boy. You know what? Just because I, just cause just I can. It. It's just because I can. 26. It. Yeah. Okay. Just because I could. Um... You look at her, um, definitely just kind of taking, you know, you take off the, the, the big blanket thing that he's clearly done. And he's at this point, not really watching you, Milo. He's kind of like sharing the vigilance between you and all of your companions who are now well armed. Just like he, he he's, you get the sense that he's not like staring at you because he expects you to do something. He's more staring right. at you because he should stare at you just in yeah. case. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Milo, as you kind of look at this kid, this kid's probably like four or five, maybe. Mm -hmm. um her hair is like kind of clung to her forehead it's like this really pretty kind of like dark umbery kind of like blonde meets kind of brunette a little like young you know when young kids kind of have like not a clear hair color just yet and it's mm -hmm. kind of like a mix between two 
um, and she is just fraught with fever. Her clothing is surprisingly nice, um, and Gaius, you notice something immediately as Milo is kind of checking her over. She has a brooch pinning what looks to be a traveling cape, and you've seen that before. Specifically, your memory takes you back to the bar when that robed individual slid you that image and asked if you had seen anybody wearing it. Oh. Oh, jeez. Uh, Milo, you get the sense just looking at this that she probably ingested something. Um, specifically bad water, something like that, just based off of her general complexion. She's feverish. Um, you know, you ask him questions, I'm assuming, like, when was the last mm -hmm. time she ate? And he's like, you know, she had jerky, like, a couple days ago, and she keeps vomiting, and I don't know what to do. And, you know, at, you ask all these questions. Um, the Dragonborn in particular does not seem well equipped for whatever the fuck is going on right now. That's fine. Yeah. Do you have any supplies on you? I have a little bit of food and a little bit of water. Guys, can't get the bucket. Guys, just the like, bucket. Guys holds up the bucket, just like, yes. <laughs> just, come on. Oh, just, oh. just walks over. Is she conscious? She is. She's just not I, doing too hot. Uh, while I'm walking past this dude, I want to eye and see if he has any of the symbol as well. Uh, as you kind of eye him as you pass, he eyes you right back. Kind of like you know he knows he's 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 very aware that you're very martially strong like that is not a mystery to him and he kind of yeah. eyeballs you as you pass you don't you don't see anything on him that shares mm. a similar iconography okay fair enough and i turn back and i have the bucket okay uh i am god i wish i had it prepped because i could ritual cast if i could uh i'm going to go ahead and fill that up with fresh clean water i'll uh uh, create, destroy water. Uh, I'm gonna look up at, at this dragon boy. Uh, can you tell me your name? I will tell you my name. Uh, that's what I meant. You can just call me Lakmiran. Lakmiran, eh? Okay. I will type that out. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see if I was close. Do -do -do. I was not close. I was very close. L a c k m i r i n. All right, Lakmirin. Do you have some kind of rag? I, he kind of points to just the giant pile of cloth that he seems to have ripped cool. off. Cool. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm going to. I'm going to rip the cloth, uh, dunk that in water, and get that over her forehead. Not soaked, but you know, cool wet. Yeah, cooling cool, it cool down. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't have the power to take away this away immediately, but I know what I can do. Um, over the course of whatever time I'm allowed, I'm going to try to slowly get fresh water into her system. Mm -hmm. I will try to, mm, if if all I have is the rations to work with, I'll mush them up. Otherwise, I would try to make a very basic soup, but I know that takes time. Yeah. Um, this is literally just Milo is being mother hen because I can't obliterate disease yet. Mm -hmm. You, as you kind of like make food, the Dragonborn actually kind of eventually sits down, calming down, and Lynn, Lynn as an aside towards you, Eastgan, kind of goes, what kind of fool brings a child into Eastman Vale? I'm beginning to wonder if he had a choice. Mm. Do I hear Lynn this? Kinda, Lynn he kind of looks outside the cairn and goes, this is complicating things. He looked really uh, relieved to see that we came from the south and not the east I think maybe they're on the run I they are you know something I do I like to imagine this conversation is having outside of the cairn where it's yeah. out of your yeah. lot yeah. because he didn't let us he didn't let us in with Milo so yeah no he's he's in there with him right now on our travels back up north from the south, the night I was down in the tavern uh, seeking conversation with the rest of the patrons, it was a bounty hunter who was seeking someone carrying the same brooch that that small girl has on her cloak. They are being hunted. Did he say what for? That was not my concern, nor was it my task to ask a bounty hunter their mission. 
All you I gained remember. from it was the brooch. You do remember too, Gaius. That guy was very well armored. Like he did not look like mm. he did not look rough traveled. He looked different as well. That individual at didn't, the bar. Didn't he have like an official? Like wasn't he in uniform too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. A competent cell sword, or at least someone with as much decoration as our friend inside has. Uh, I'm actually gonna ask, like, Mirren, if she has any other clothes. I... No, she does not. Well, I guess she'll have to make do, then. Should we... Wash them? I don't know. I don't... I don't do children. He watches, well, he grips his head. It's it's alright, it's alright. If... We, the cleaner we can get her, and as much fresh food and water as we can get it, as long as we keep her hydrated. That's the big thing. We can't stay here for long. We need to keep moving. You watch as he walks over and kind of sticks his head out of the car. You, blue one. Uh, yes? You said you had maps. Uh, yeah. I wish to see them. Sh should I bring them in there, or do you want to come out here? Uh, Lack Mirror kind of looks behind you, Mylan goes. You can use the curtain and the clothes. We can wash them. Whatever you... Just do whatever you think you can do. I... He just steps outside of the cairn. He seems very frustrated with himself. It's all right. Take a breath. Uh, Otho will uh, begin to roll up his sleeves, and he will go over, and he will start washing the clothes. Okay. You have a bucket. Good old bucket. We have a bucket <laughs> of bu infinite he's, water. Um, he's a my bucket. Mila will will make sure that you don't wash the clothes in the fresh water because that's what I'm trying to feed her. Yeah. I'm trying to get her hydrated, so. Yeah. Uh, Lakmiran kind of walks over. He goes over to a tombstone that's fallen over, grabs it like without any like no check necessary. This dude's ripped. Walks over in front of UE scan, puts it down on the ground, points. He goes, put the map on that. Kind of nervously looks towards. Lynn. She shrugs towards you like Uh okay. Uh what are you looking for a map of exactly? This place. Eastonville is it? I need to know and just I need to find somewhere safe. I will pull out I imagine it would be a couple pages, uh, but I'll pull out what I have mapped out of Eastonvale. Okay. Kind of That's looks unfortunately all I have. I haven't been to any of the other places, so. <sighs> this path here, he points towards a rain. Where does this go? Uh, that leads uh, east into Hearthland. Hearthland. Uh, it's kind of a dangerous path, though. He kind of looks nervously back towards the cairn. What about this town here? Uh, <laughs> oh. I don't think you want to go there. Matter of fact, you should avoid the south entirely if you can. Then I will head north to the capital city. No, do not. Absolutely no, no, do not no, go north. No, 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 no. That, that would be the worst uh, direction to choose. I, I don't believe you understand this entire, like, this entire nation is come over with a blight of undead. I know that. That's why I'm trying to get out of here as quickly as... Sorry. I... Uh, he just he storms over and just grabs his sword, just cuts down a tree. <sighs> Fuck! Damn it. Oh. You were frustrated. Oh, you noticed. Sorry. I'm no, sorry. I'm. The better of me is not to get into the affairs of that of a bounty, but I feel it is much more prevalent if I tell you this myself since I saw them. I fear. Who's them? I described the man that I, I met with him. I, I met at the tavern. That means. He kind of clasps the hand over his mouth. I don't know what this means for you. I can only assume that that means you or 
she is being hunted. However, I can tell you that this man that I met was far to the south of here. I don't know where his destination lies, but I've seen him. I give him basically an account of how many days have passed since I've seen that man. Rexford is dead. Fuck. That means Rexford's dead. Shit, did Eleanor get out? Fuck. I unfortunately Fuck. don't know who any of these people are. If your whole goal is just to get out of Eastonvale, uh, going to the northwest would be the fastest route. No, I can't go west. That's where I came from. There is a town that I may suggest. Uh, well, uh, can you pull up the map of uh, of Hearthland, please? Sure. Are you thinking of Acorn? I sure am. Uh, with Eastgan's help, I'd like to point out the town of Acorn. Yeah, he'll pull out the Hearthland map. And kind of connect them so that he can see where the roads uh, would intersect uh, at the forest. My only concern is that should you want to venture down that way... Whoa, the town moved. Holy shit. Sorry, I... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, never mind. You don't want to go to Acorn. Yeah, on second They're thought, let's not go legs. to Acorn. It's a silly Sprouch place. legs and starts moving. <laughs> <laughs> God. Nope, no acorn here, just the tree. I would say that acorn is a safe place, but that does mean you would probably have to be moving closer to your pursuers. You just see him like literally just rubbing his temples and just sitting down. I hope that can honestly give you some sort of comfort in knowing that the company that's with you at current is not here to harm you. Not yet. I have not yet. To. Kind of looks towards all of you. And he looks towards Lynn. And at this point, Lynn is just sitting on a stump, just like looking at him back, just like kind of condescendingly. You're a strange sort, you lot. Who are you, really? We've been up front with you this entire time. I fear that if I speak my problems to you, I may doom you in the same way I've doomed myself. Trust me, sir, we couldn't get any more doomed if we tried. You say that. How doomed could a layabout from the north who's just looking to prove himself? I would not wish for you to be entangled in the lives of noble men. We are dead. That's the whole point of you leaving home! Uh, Otho sort of. Uh, <laughs> Otho's, face, Otho's face sort of flattens. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we definitely have some experience with that, actually. And that's partly why I left home anyway. Roll sort persuasion of check, all of you. Am, uh, am, I, am I there to do that? You are not. You're tending to this child because she's yeah, not I don't, doing I, that. I'm gonna yeah. Otho, you got this. 20! Nice! Da -da -da. Hey, look at that! It's another natural one! Are you Can you stop? Me? Can you? I'm just... noble! <laughs> <laughs> I'm noble! Alright, well, I what will... about the rest of you? I'm gonna say Otho because you do have the noble background. I'll give you advantage. I have oh. a noble background, but okay. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, noble it, background. It's similar. It's similar. It's oh. in, within the court, yeah. <laughs> You're I'm getting court, by yeah. with a close enough clause. Hey, look, at least you're you get to roll again, and there it That's is. That's a 15. there you go. There you go. Fucking <laughs> damn it! I'm the least persuasive. If it's a stealth check or a nobility check, it's just like I'm built to do this. One. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Sir. I can't even blame roll twenty for this one. But you could roll a nat twenty on an arcana <laughs> check. I'm sorry, roll twenty. I was about to bark you. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the habit. Black Mirren kind of kind of intertwines his fingers together and sits down and kind of thinks really hard and he looks up to you and goes, You'll have to forgive me. Both for uh, my actions before and the fate that I'm about to give you. I just must be certain that you are comfortable with this. There's no going back from knowing this information. Listen, in all honesty, if we're in a position to help, I don't think anyone in this group is going to say no. You are not in a position to help. No one is in a position to help right now. 
What I'm saying okay. is the information I tell you could get you killed. <laughs> That's oh. funny. Guy, guy is actually just like to oblique, like, <laughs> sorry. He kind of growls towards you for that one, <laughs> but kind of seems a little concerned. Very well, your fools are idiots or both. My name is Dio Vano Lakmiran. Oh my god, he was Dio the whole time. It, it was him, <laughs> Dio! It was him. Hey! I is am... it two ends or one, Monty? Uh, it is two ends. It is Dio Vano Lakmiran. All right, name. Chad, you know what to do. It, yep, here they come. Here come the memes. <laughs> It was me. I was guard servant to Madeline Athel. Oh! 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 That gets a, a raised uh, brow from Eskin. He doesn't have eyebrows, but the brow ridge above his eye kind of raises a little bit. He kind of looks towards the Cairn. That girl in there, her name is Julie Athel. She is... Madeline's daughter, her only daughter. When you say was, you mean... He kind of looks down at the ground quietly and doesn't say anything. I still haven't told her. She's too young and there's too much right now. We haven't had a moment's rest. We've been pursued by the Knight's Order of Athol. I don't know why, but they killed Madeline, and they intend to kill Julie, too. Sounds like some sort of coup. I don't know. Something along those lines. You mentioned you saw some of these knights south, the Matarallo. Yeah. Aye. Which probably means that Rexford, Athol, third in line, has died as well. So, oh, they're still searching, I wonder. So you mean the ruling family of Athol is... I mean, all being, of them? Being hunted down. So it's not like a family dispute? I don't know. I don't know if they're acting on orders by the king of Athol himself. Her grandfather, I don't know. I received immediate summons from, from Madeline to come post haste, and when I arrived there, she told me to take Julie and head as far out as I could. Mm. And we've been running ever since. Uh. Uh. Would. Oh God. Um. I'm I'm blanking. Would we know that something similar happened in? Um. Oh God. What's it called? Are you thinking of Eltmer? Eltmer, yeah. That's an Elton as well. It is, but it's far away. So we wouldn't so we wouldn't know that something similar Not, happened. No, you would have no idea. Alright. Never mind in that case. And I forgive me, I don't mean to be rude or anything, but just to make sure, um, I would assume you would be able to recognize the signs of any sort of demonic interaction, right? I don't know. Madeline's estates are closer to the eastern borders. Whatever happens at the capital city, I'm very much blind to. Madeline did not give me any additional information. She simply gave me instructions to get Julia out of here. I'm going to look towards Lynn. Has she reacted to any of this? Lynn is looking very tensively towards him now. Her sort of, like, deadpan, like, you fucked with me, you're a piece of shit, has now changed to, like, oh, shit. Oh. Black Mirren kind of looks down and goes, there are rumors. <sighs> Gossip amongst peasants. The king of Athol is a notoriously greedy man. And he was not getting any younger. And one of his sons was slated to take the throne. This is all hypothesis. This is all guessing. I don't know. And I don't care. It doesn't matter. The point is, 
now I'm sure you can understand my urgency. I I could, but now here's a question for you. What is the end goal once you reach out further enough that she's safe? I don't know. I made a promise, and I intend to keep it. Keep it, you shall. We will not get in your way. Lynn kind of stands up. Perhaps we could help. I turn at I turn to Lynn like, wait, what? <laughs> Lynn kind of looks towards you and goes, "Oh, don't look at me like that." She kind of. Oh no back. no no. Oh no, he's uh, he's like shocked at first, and then he like gives her like a big goofy like oh, adventure smile. She still says, "Don't look at me like that." <laughs> Perhaps we can make a mutually beneficial agreement here. Though I'm not wont to endanger a child, but it seems that we have no other choice. Perhaps a poor choice of words. Mm. Especially due to our mission here. Sounds Indeed. to me that the child is already in plenty of danger. Indeed. Hey, Money, how's she doing? She's starting to do better. Oops. She's not really responsive right now. She's drinking the water, though, and, like, you are kind of feeding her, but her eyes aren't open, and she seems to be kind of like, you know, like a kid, like, yeah, <laughs> Like, just don't, yeah. don't, I want to... I hate it in. here! I hate oh, it here, yeah. I want to, I want to make sure she, I want to make sure she can burn the fever out, but also keep her, like, hydrated. I'm gonna, I'm gonna describe it like this. Fever, food poisoning, and a car is kind of the, the, the four-year-old with fever yeah. and food poisoning in the back of a car is probably yeah. the best way to describe it. I, I want to watch sucks. Cooking with Babish on my it's... iPhone, but I can't <laughs> because it hurts to look. She ate too many cherries. Question. No. She... <laughs> oh, that's is... some deep Monty lore right there. Uh, <laughs> is, is, is she in any supreme danger? No, but if she wasn't treated for a while, she probably wouldn't have made it much farther. You get Got the it. sense, like, she needs, like, probably some medicine. You get the sense, and there's probably maybe something around. You're not sure. At the very least, though, like, water, food, and you have nutritious food with you, luckily. You have, like, mm. lentils and, like, meats and things like that, not just can, turkey. Can I? Know. Okay, okay. I hate to do this, Moni, but could I do a medicine check to determine if there might be any some kind of herb or plant that might help this that'd be a nature check specifically and you'd have to look around uh well i mean that's the thing i wasn't gonna go but i was gonna try and brain blast it and see if like mirin could possibly find something or if any of the guys could it's also worth pointing out you are in easton vale which is not notoriously dash fair well healing the... well i mean okay i only ask because I think you said the plants were getting a little bit better after we cleansed the first bead. The mist was gone, and there's a little uh, bit more color, but yeah, okay. better is definitely not the term I would use. I mean, better... It's one but... compared to zero. Yeah, let's say on that. On a scale of, of zero to a hundred. She's, she's, on, she's a one on the pain scale instead of like a fucking zero at this point. <laughs> um, uh, I will do this. Uh, if... If, if, if she ever has to make any checks, I would love to guidance her out of them. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Uh, Lynn kind of looks towards the rest of you and she goes, may we speak with my entourage for a while? Your what? <laughs> entourage. <laughs> she sighs and rolls her eyes. I'm doing this on purpose to her. Jesus. Uh. <laughs> But a minute, Master Lakmiran, and she kind of gestures for all you guys to get into a huddle. I'll collect Milo? my maps and then Oi? join the huddle. Are you able to depart, or do you need to be a bedside nurse still? I look, o I, I look over at Julie. <laughs> She's still panting, and at this point, Lakmiran kind of walks over and goes, "I can watch her go speak with your dead woman." All right, just <laughs> just make sure that towel's on her forehead. Make sure she's still drinking water. You come, uh... you come get me if she starts vomiting. Yes, dab dab. He says as he puts the cloth on top of her forehead. She's like, oh god, she's gonna vomit. <laughs> with like, yeah, he literally leans back when you say vomit, and he's like at a complete arms, like dabbing her forehead with his head leaned back. Like he's like, <laughs> it's, like it's like a guy who's never fucking dealt with cats before who has to cat sit. Here, oh, kitty, kitty, kitty. A hundred percent with this dragonborn, he is definitely not a kid person. You can immediately just tell. <laughs> uh, you all kind of huddle around with Lynn. And she kind of goes, I have a proposition, but this is your venture, and I don't want to step on any toes. Well, to be fair, your last proposition got us here, so I'm all mm. ears. 
here's the thing. Once we purify the bead, you're going to be heading west. Now hearing what you're hearing does complicate matters, but as far as I'm concerned, we haven't learned anything. And she gives a bit of an eye wink. Mm. Still, it is a bit concerning, but... Centralia, luckily, is its own sort of... Uh, it lies outside of the purview of the royal family, which is the good news. It's a city-state. It is. I mean, no sense of corruption can weave into a place such as that, given the demonic presence there. That would spell disaster. Centralia has always existed as a third party, a place of a proving gown for clerics and paladins to... well... service. As it were. That being so said... Go on, Master Brightbeam. So what's the proposition? Sorry, I just want to get back to her. Give the child a couple days to improve. And then we disenchant the bead here. And I take him and the child... Oh, I can't believe I'm saying this. Back to Banyer's Bend, to my... home? Domicile? Estate. In your crypt? Yeah, a crypt, sure, yes. <laughs> it's ominous sounding, but yes, my crypt. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> to, be, to be fair, he, Lackmere looks like he could take on that entire town and they won't come looking there. Indeed. My only concern is people out there might, you know, talk about seeing them. Yes. There was that orcish fellow who was hunting for someone. I'm not sure if it's related, but it keeps cropping up. Chikai looks towards you. Gaius, you said that there was someone searching for that symbol on her cloak, correct? Aye, but the person I spoke to was human. Indeed. No doubt a member of these right these royal knights of some sort. That thing around her cape should probably be hidden. And Milo, if you can spare a pair of clothes. Not to volunteer you, but you are a diminutive size, with no disrespect. I I suppose um shouldn't be a problem. Hmm. I'll just have to walk around in my vestments more often. My trade-off is this. If we can convince Lakmiran to remain here and help us with the bead, I mean, between you and me, he seems like a formidable fighter. We promise to help the girl. I can take the two of them back to Banyar's Bend with me in tow, and no one messes with me, given the fact that I am, and she kind of gestures towards all of herself, a little unwell. <laughs> Nods. And if, and if the kid likes dogs, they can stay in my crypt, I guess. She's calling it that. I can't believe this. I think you should... you'll just have to convince him. Yes, but... Well, I think it won't take too much. He's desperate. He is. He's got nowhere to go. And we could Something... really use his help. Something this... tells me he'll be amenable. Indeed. He already seems to be relaxing over time. And to be honest, she kind of looks over towards the cairn. If I were him, I would be in a similar state, no doubt. Poor girl. Mm. Wrapped up in something that she has no idea, no even, no chance of understanding. Speaking of, are we good here? I want to get back to her. You can go. And I'm off! Lynn kind of turns towards you and go, Nobles and royals don't care about anyone else. They've only ever been self-serving to the last. He wrinkles his nose and narrows his eyes at her at that. I, uh, I'm all for it, uh, the arrangement. Good. Who wants to offer it to him? I'll do it. <laughs> oh. I mean, not just one person can do it. You may go up as a group. I he doesn't would've... like me very clearly, so... Better off if I don't do it. You all know in your hearts that Milo would assist if he was there, there, there. Too well, bad. He, you made your he choice. He is in the cairn, so you will be there. <laughs> I like how Mark just immediately jumped in. No. <laughs> no. You, you made your bed. You not. must fly at it. <laughs> Go help that poor child that's so important. <laughs> you will stay there and you will dab their forehead. And you will like it. You will, you will understand why there's excitement in my voice for this. The whole reason I left my home in the first place was to make a name for myself, and 
borrowing a little bit of my uncle's occupation as a means to make myself a little bit, well, bigger than I am. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Well, I'm glad for you. Selfish I for reasons and all that. Yes, I suppose. I suppose I'm being selfish myself. And I'm sorry if my words upset you, Master Otho, but I've yet been proven otherwise. I am welcome to the challenge, though. If I didn't care about anything, I wouldn't be here. Mm. I'd I meant be more back home where people more of know my... me, where I'm not being hunted 24-7. Indeed. As far as, no in the Odyssey. as far as nobles go, you and your brother are at least selfless. <laughs> I wish it was consistent. Truly, I do. Anyway, best of luck talking to him. She sits down on a stump and crosses her arms. Uh, if it's all the same to you three, I'll probably stay out here, keep an eye out. Very well, Mr. Seat Lolly. Oh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> I don't know uh, how you're feeling about all this, Kai, but I mean, it's up to you if you want to go in there or stay out here with us. I think I've caused enough trouble for one day. I'll just sit with Lynn. You guys got this. Otho's good with the words. <sighs> Very well. So Otho and Gaius, you're going to be approaching Giovanna. Uh, okay, Black Mirren. Oh, so you're approaching me. Oh, you're <laughs> approaching me. <laughs> it's never we been more appropriate. Monty, Monty, I knew the moment he got that next. name, this was going to happen. Yeah, I was like, is it well, Giovanna? They're going to call him Dio, of course. It's going to happen. Whatever. Uh, it's his name. All right, you guys approach him. At this point, he has completely relinquished any sort of, like, bedside anything to you, um, Milo. Yeah, yeah. He kind of, like, just sits down and looks, and he watches as all you approach and goes, Welcome back. Silak Mirren, I figure it's about time that we introduce ourselves, or at least myself. I am Othu, son of Brutus of House Valentinius of Martyrallo. I am, the son of an I am the son of an ocean lord. Ocean lord Brutus Valentinius. Wait, scowl. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was already kind of he was already kind of scowling because of what Lynn said earlier. Ga Gaius helps by taking both the edges of your lips and putting them down into a U shape. <laughs> Strange. I was not sure. I was not. And I mean this with no offense. I was not aware that the man was capable of love. But here you are. You hmm. seem to be hearing a lot of strange things about him lately, but that's neither here nor there. That was simply to let you know that we, uh, as a sign of goodwill, people of important positions, uh, one to another, we have a proposition for you. Very well. We will wait out here and for a couple of days until she is better. However, in exchange, we would like it if you were to accompany uh, Miss Lynn to a town down to the south. You will find safe haven there. Do you mean to the... Yeah, just a correction, it's east. It's oh, to east, the east, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Bend. To the it's, east. it's technically northeast, yeah. Monty, we could probably put the label on there if you... Oh, yeah, it should be there, second. sorry. Give me a second to give it to you. Where it is, it's on the top of Bend. I hope you aren't. There is Banyers Bend. Thank you. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha, but get Eiffel Tower. Ha ha, egg. At... <laughs> At... <laughs> <laughs> a town to the east called Banner's Bend. This is where she makes her... It's where she stays for most of the time. This feels redundant, the girl... but is she to be trusted? 
Well, if we're going to be perfectly honest with each other, she is the reason why all of us are still alive. We trust her almost implicitly. At least I do. She's not. Go ahead. No, go ahead. She's not given us a reason not to trust her. She looks like she's mad at me all the time. Granted, she's mad at everyone all the time. That seems to her, be the case. I'm picking that up very quickly. Her situation as a woman of Hokath in the state that she's in is caused her no deal of no no small deal of discomfort. Yes, the irony of that was not lost on me. I was wondering about that, but so you'll you'll forgive her candor. She's more pragmatic. No, uh, not much one for personability. Mm. But you can keep each other safe. Uh, if it helps, we've actually been to the location. It is extremely sturdy. Kind of looks towards Julia, who's at this point, it seems to be a bit more restful. Like her temperature seems to be kind of going down, just with the water and the food. Is she actually helping out? Is she actually sleeping? Yeah, she's like sleeping now. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, she's like snoozing, and he kind of looks towards her, and then looks towards the rest of you, and he kind of. Is it ailments? No, don't you go start dying again oh, too. No, she's, she's flaring up. Get her. Oh God. Sorry, my bad. I just literally inhaled like a big chunk of spit and it oh my god. That is <laughs> wrong pipe. Wrong Sorry. pipe. I get that. No, wrong no, I pipe get entirely, that. yeah. Oh my Fucking lord. Bee coming in. Oh sorry, excuse me. <laughs> he kinda leans forward and again he intertwines his fingers and kinda leans forward and he kinda his head goes down. You can't really see his like eyes and he kinda goes, I'm very sorry for my hostile nature when we first met. That's alright. Entirely understandable you are protecting a young, helpless girl in a place that is teeming with undeath and the vermin that litter the bottom of the barrel of the dregs of society. I can understand. So, what would you want in return? We would like you to help us with something. I'm listening. See, this place was not always like this. It was not always a haven of undeath and thieves and thugs. It was once a verdant place full of life. Indeed, it comes, as no to... it comes as no mystery that Isengale was once a prosperous land before the Ash Plague struck it and rocked it to its very core. We aim to return it to the way it once was, perhaps not entirely, Perhaps this place may never go back to the way it once was, but restore some sense of life and dignity to it. Put it to rest, as she puts it. Mm. And what part of this plan do I play in exchange for this aid? No, you may go. Uh, we have an artifact that we see. Uh, we have an artifact that we aim to cleanse, but in a few days' time, after she is feeling better, your sword will be of much great aid in taking care of any undead that comes its way. There's a sort of ticking clock that goes with cleaning the artifact that will help clean this whole entire location. But we will have to safeguard the Hoketh Cleric. The undead get restless whenever we clean whenever we cleanse one of these beads i see so you would hire me for my sword that i might kill in your name no not necessarily kill in our name but hers that to protect cool. her that sound cool though it does and for eason vale very well i will do this excellent in exchange, this woman shall take me somewhere safe with Julia. Yes. You will be quite safe in Banner's Bend. A little unorthodox in terms of 
hidey holes, but no one will bother you. Good. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Mr. Lackmirin, um, on your way up here, did you find any house that had any sort of bed, any place we could put her? Nothing that wasn't moldy and rotten, no. That's not going she, to help. She can stay in one of our tents. <sighs> Somewhere we could keep her in a bit in the long term. A tent should but, do. It's better than nothing. Um, I don't take up much space in my own tent. Leave her with me. I'll make sure she's looked after. With all due respect, I don't intend to leave her side. I had it. I had it. I had it. I was about to say, it's just gonna be <laughs> little him, little little swaddle girl, and giant lizard just, man. His <laughs> shoulders are like propping up the tent instead no, of the pole. He's got no. one of you in each arm. <laughs> No, yeah. it's the, no, it's like his his entire outline from the waist up is around the tent. You look from the outside, it's just him shaped. Pretty much. <laughs> I like to imagine it's just like he's like lying there and you're like, you know, the girl's on one side, you're in the other, and like Milo just zooms into Milo and I was like, I feel so safe. <laughs> <laughs> Tent's a lot warmer than I remember. Alright. Well Very whatever well. the situation needs to be. He extend a hand out to you guys. We have a deal. Milo takes it immediately. Yep. Or for what little honor I have left, I will do this for you if you were willing to extend assistance to us, whoever you may be and whoever it is that you truly serve. There is no honor greater than protecting someone who can't save themselves. <laughs> Don't count myself. me out just yet. Very well, you will have it. The sword of Diavano Lakmirin, royal guard. What a title. So I it's did fine not to have you. And it seems that things are, have changed. It's an honor to meet all of you. And that's where we're going to end the session for tonight. Yeah, yeah. friendship! Uh, Hell yeah. Dear diary, I'm getting in on this fairy tale, motherfucker. Mark my words. Let's go. Goodbye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. I met Austin today at the mall. You did. Yeah, you so did. each other. He had like three sentences to say and then left. Aww. Aww. He's busy. But he was, he, yeah, I was about to say, he was, he, he was, he was with his mom, which, yeah. Adorable. So, um, we are now engaged mm. with royalty of two separate countries. Oh Dude, boy. Fuck, yeah. Is it a At goal? level two. Yeah, but <laughs> one's, one's much better than the other right now. The other, the yeah. one currently is not super great. What well, can. I mean, also, a wrinkly, shriveled up banana peel left to die by his own father, Otho. <laughs> <laughs> and and Kai, who could give a shit. You guys were one of the two I was including. Did I miss one? Uh... Who's the other royal that we're engaged with? Yo, listen, listen. I don't know uh, if you're joking or not. I'm uh -oh. genuinely not. The... No, it's, it's, it's this guy and the brothers, right? The... Yeah. Yeah, that's but. the two I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. What are we talking about? <laughs> I'm so confused. I thought Me you too. were suggesting that we weren't talking about Otho, but I was definitely talking about Otho. Oh, I no, thought you were I talking mean, about the I girl, because the girl, was, the girl really clearly, is from yeah. one country, and Otho and oh, Kai are from yeah, another yeah, country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, Mark, I was facetiously insinuating that because of Otho's treatment, he is not actually considered a noble. And here's a Wikipedia explaining it. Oh, God. <laughs> and here's a Wikipedia article explaining it. You just wrote that right now. <laughs> Thank God I'm not the only person who knows that Good, good job surviving that. I'm a good job, good job surviving that fight, by the way. That, that could oh, that was terrifying. Scary. Yeah, uh, it was yeah, terrifying. Yeah, yeah. With, a, with, a, with, a, with a cleric absorb powers. All my goodies. How dare I was like, no, I'm my sorry, two free Milo. radiant blasts. No, no. See, Money, here's the thing. I knew you were going to do something like this eventually. I like it because you have to be strategic. They are literally fuck your healing and, and considering and every of, and all of my yeah. offensive capabilities. So you know. Yeah. Well, you have the you have the burning hands. Those came in and those helped. They they can, but they're very limited in range. Um, yeah. And I there's also a lot of risk of crossfire and setting things on fire. So I mean, the, you say limited range. 
the, I, I can't the, help but feel insulted. I, I thought I was pretty utilitarian with my use of burning. The, That's... the, pl the plague hounds are very much risk reward enemies. Like you've got to risk it for the biscuit, and yeah, that's kind of their intention me, is to be like, okay, me chop, me chop, me chop, <laughs> me chop, me chop, but you eat chop. Yes, yes, you may call him Dio. That is actually his shorthand for his first name is Dio. 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 <laughs> <laughs> You're well, me. hope you enjoyed this episode of the Unexpectables, chat. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Street Labs just refreshed. No. Oh. Eh, whatever. No, fuck it. Sorry, y'all. I'm setting up a stream elements page immediately when we're done here. I'm telling you. Do it. Uh, right. Well, uh, we should go around the horn and deintroduce ourselves. Guy Google, we're gonna find you. Twitch.tv. You up to? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Guy Google every Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Central Time, except for tomorrow, because tomorrow is when Wild Hearts releases, and me being the colossal weeb that I am, yeah, it's basically Monster Hunter, but even more weebish than freaking Monster Hunter Rise. Uh, I'm super excited because it's it, it's Tolkien three. And Tolkien's just been a long time favorite game of mine. Uh, so expect that. Uh, expect a, a, a one or two videos on it at least. Expect videos and streams of Yakuza, aka Like a Dragon Ishin, coming out next week. Yes. I'ma be I'ma be busy. I'ma be a busy boy. That's incredible. Me. So happy it's coming. Uh right, Mark Allen Jr., where can they find you? And what are you up to? You can find me on Twitter.com at Mark Allen Jr. here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. And you can follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny on Instagram at chonk for life Like I said at the start of the show, uh, not a lot of streams in the near future. Potentially one this weekend. We'll see if I'm feeling up to it and have the energy and the time. Because uh, it's been a busy week of actual voiceover stuff uh, for me which is not a humble brag. I, I, I went from having nothing on the schedule to the whole week being booked up and I'm very stressed. Um, but um, yeah, hopefully I'm trying to get streams back. I promise, I promise I'm trying. Um, but check the Twitter out. I will have a bunch of announcements coming up very soon. Um, I actually have to play catch up on some things. So yes, thank you. We'll see you all later. And actually wow. I, I do have to bounce as well. Uh, oh, shit. Early morning. You gotta so, be up early tomorrow, right? Get out of here. I do. I apologize. Believe us. You hate I do hate you. Yeah. Now you know how it feels like. It's correct. Yes. Eat your ice cream. Suffer for me. I don't even care. Um, I'll see y'all later. See you next week, guys. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. If you did, I'm gonna kill him next week. <laughs> wow. Dead, in, dead Minecraft, in Minecraft. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. D and D Minecraft. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, Zito, where can they find you and what are you up to? Twitch.tv slash Zito. We can find me. I was playing a fuck ton of indie games. Uh, there are far too many for me to actually get to all at once. So instead, I'm going to ask you to please check out my card. It goes to everything that I've been working on. D&D stuff, YouTube channel has been updated with all those games that you may or may have missed, may not have missed. Uh... I don't know what I'm streaming on Friday. I know Ishin is pl is coming out, but I know every fucking human being under the sun is going to play it. So maybe I'm not the best person to play Ishin at Go, but I'm going to try, damn it. Uh, beyond that, I, I'm i so fucking not caught up with anything because I did nothing but Steam Next games for like the past two weeks. So oh, yeah, there's so many. I, I, I now have to play catch-up to figure out what I'm even fucking doing on Friday. I might do fake mod stuff. I don't know. But I just don't have a clue at the moment. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there's new emotes, by the way. I, I might either beat Pizza Tower or finish Hi-Fi Rush on stream. Right on. Uh, Bosco, where can they find you and what are you up to? You can find me on twitch.tv slash Shadow Bosco and add it Bosco via Ambles, Instagram and Twitter. Damn. Damn. And there you go. That's 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 how that's the way the masters do, do it. Yo, by the way, real quick, I'd like to also extend a hand at asking you guys, would you like to all at one point in the future play a game of the friendship destroyer known as Uno online? Oh my god, yes. I loved Uno. Bro, listen, I I bought Uno and Uno Twist the other night. I want to get in on that destruction. But I don't have it. 
and you're weak and you're not going to survive the winter. Oh, fuck. Uh, damn it. I've had somebody else mention Uno to me, and I'm just like, that sounds amazing. I, I, I want to play Uno so bad. I see too many streamer friends of mine playing it and having the best fucking time ever, just hating each other, and I want to get in on that. Joke out there and just get completely glossed. You have over. fucking Uno. Yay! No, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to fucking dignify it. <laughs> yeah. All right, Monty, we're gonna find you. Hi. What are you up to? Oh my god, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Tomorrow will be Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Uh, it sounds like we're gonna have the Golden Girls tomorrow because Boo Radley's busy, but we are Shit. they're currently inside of a tiny castle because they're also tiny, but everything else is big. Um, there's a lot of fun, exciting things going on in Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Definitely check that out. And then Monday, hopefully we should get back to Mass Effect. I'm very, very, very sorry. We haven't gone back to it. Things have been kind of crazy, but I really want to get back into it because that game is really fun and we're just getting into the meat and potatoes of it. So, yeah. Alrighty. Uh, oh, and then they can sorry. Talk. One more thing. Sorry. Also, the VOD for the Greenbird Cup, the Pokemon tournament that I hosted on my channel, uh, should be coming up in, like, be going up on my YouTube in the next couple days. Definitely check those out. Thumbs up. Sorry. Oh, fuck that. yeah. A riot. Uh, yeah, they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, youtube.com slash distortion devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. I'm gonna be playing some more Deus Ex on Sunday. Uh, we got arrested. Uh oh. <laughs> oops. <laughs> oops. This is an oopsie moment. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I think I'm, uh, Check out our wonderful sponsor for this evening's escapades, Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice. Derp. That's right. Uh, Die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop oh. for dice and dice accessories. And if you head on over to dieharddice.com, you can use the code UNEXPECTABLES to save 10% on your order. Yes. And we've also got some bits and sodas to read off. We've got ta -ta -ta -ta. Welsh 93, thank you for the 35 months. Come up, hum dum gum. <laughs> thank you for the uh, 32 months of Prime. Don't pet the spooky dogs. But we did. We pet them so hard. Uh, uh, Mortalia, thank you for the 34 months. May the diehard dice be in your favor. They were kind of. Uh, Lasker Fuffle, thank you for the 35 months. Vale606, thank you for gifting five subs to the community. H Lone Heart, thank you for the 35 months. I only have a few of my gummy dice left. Ooh, delicious. Ooh. Fresh Thawed Meanderthal, thank you for the uh, 1,000 bits. Monty, Mr. Devil, I'm listening to the old Roll With Me episodes. I forgot how I genuinely loved T-Wig, especially with the deer incident. Oh my god, the deer pee incident, that's right. Do a deer, a female deer. <laughs> a drop of gold. <laughs> oh no. Uh yes. Uh D and D is wild sometimes. Uh Burnout Vaughn, thank you for the one hundred bits, Bosco. Uh because Japan refuses to believe furries are a thing. That is objectively untrue that, that is, is so untrue it's huge that over is there. so untrue have you like, seen brand new animal i was gonna say there's a lot of furries in like china and japan look 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 i uh, listen there if i could say one word right now that would just if someone was to google search it yeah no you you were wrong on that statement <laughs> i'm not going to <laughs> <laughs> Can't I'm just, I'm just, I'm just telling you, there is a word that I could say that just completely blows your accusation out of the water. Chat's got it right. I think Chat's got it, got the, got the gist of it. Oh no, that's uh, that's small potatoes. Honestly, actually, what I was about to fucking <laughs> say. Well, either way, uh, Divine Devil, thank you for the 32 or 33 months. Brawl Kaiser, thank you for the raid with the party at two. Tyrant Chaos, thank you for the 35 months. 
in Cindy's Productions. Thank you for the 24 months. Burnout Vaughn, thank you for the 100 bits. I wasn't ready to realize that Lynn was my mood kindred today. <laughs> yeah, Lynn is kind of... Mood kindred. She reminds me a lot of my roommate in university a little bit. <laughs> Protoss103, thank you for the five bits. Talking about nobles, making me think about Remy. I miss wow. Remy! Yeah. Ooh, Zenlita, thank you for the 100 bits. Episode title, Killing in the Name of. Mm. That's Ooh, it. That's, that's the title. That's the title. That's, that's the title. Good. Good. That's the title. Zen, that was throwback. That's like when Zen used to be created. Like, that was like flashing back vintage Zen. That's crazy. I like that a lot. Uh... Blackfoot Fair, thank you for the elite bits. Centralia is halfway between life and death. Also, Portland and Seattle. Yep. People caught on pretty quickly. Centralia is a real place in the U.S., actually. It inspired Silent Hill, actually. Yeah. Oh. Sure did. I know what you did. I know. <laughs> uh, Ellie Kit, thank you for the 100 bits. Episode title, you can pet anything once. <laughs> Protoss103335 bits. Uh, Gaijin, you saw Austin outside of his hamster ball? <laughs> yeah, he got out. <laughs> I think he's, I think he's AFK at the moment. Yeah, he might uh, be. Protoss103, thank you for the five bits. Everything's true in the wiki. It's true. Uh, Snapper Jack, thank you for the 100 bits. Packs. Indeed. Uh, I hear he's got a six pack that he shredded. That he totally uh, didn't draw on with a sharpie. Henry Skelliman, thank you for the 100 bits. I'm liking Dio the Black Swordsman so far. Mm -hmm. he, he does give me a little bit of berserky vibes, which he make does, me he, very happy. He does have a little guts in him. Uh, speaking of which, Reaper Harlequin, thank you for the 500 bits. What a coincidence. I'm playing a Dragonborn Fighter Barbarian based off of Guts from Berserk. Oh, there you go. Callum Draws, thank you for the five bits. Uh, you really did a number on this place. How many undead have you killed? I'm not sure. How many breads have you eaten? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, River Rat, thank you for the ten bits. Episode title, Milo's Mercy and Rat. Nah, it's a, it's a little it's a little too focused on on the character. Yeah, I like to focus one, on everybody. Just one sweet girl. Thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, hey, Gaijin, I'm doing a retelling of a NOH play that's, that, for that's my senior. No. No. Yeah. No. Uh, no for my senior <laughs> class. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mario, what's your favorite? What's your favorite form of theater? No. no. <laughs> Good. Uh, Protoss 103, thank you for the five bits. My favorite T-Wig moment was the cord. Oh, God, that is existential. Also, really <laughs> quick, because I saw that, because um, that was actually a question. I don't know, because that's a really broad question. Like, tips for no, I, I have no clue, because I don't know which story you're doing. I don't know what the situation is. Like, Oh, so you do uh, have a clue. No, I don't. That's the whole point. <laughs> Connor, you're fired. So you're saying you don't know. Connor. <laughs> Read the next on, bit. I need to go to bed. I, all right, you know what? I'm just... Oh, I'm good, good, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, no. He left. He just left. Oh, he's back. Okay, uh, cool. I was so ready for you to actually leave. I was. I would have been upset. I would have been I, like, "Well, there I he would is. like. I would like to go to bed though, because work yeah. tomorrow." Keep going, Connor. Don't worry. We're we're on our last couple of bits here. Uh, Kellen Draws, thank you for the bits. Uh, the five bits. Episode title: HP Sponge. Hmm. Uh, and finally, from uh, five bits from Fart Reverb MP3. Uh, hey, Monty, I recently started watching Mad Mage. Is there a reason you did not go for the colored maps? I found a set of colored maps that I was able to use for my attempt at the campaign. My players lost interest as they danced around every single NPC in RP interaction. 
Uh, I'm using what was provided by Roll20 when you buy the actual thing, because it places everything on the map. So that's why I'm using it. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I run Dungeon of the Mad Mage, so I don't have to do any prep work, because I put all my time and focus into Unexpectables, so. Aha, there you go. Yeah. All right, well, that was it. I have a feeling, I have someone I think we should raid, because they were brought up in the campaign. Coup Eater is currently playing Dead Space 2. Oh, shit. And Gaijin Goomba ate Cliff during the session, so I think we should let him know that uh, Cliff got eaten. <laughs> oh man! Oh this... no! Am I good? Did I make his patron angry? We'll find out. Oh no! Is that okay with it? Is that okay with everybody if we rank two? No. Yes. Yeah, I'll allow sure. it. Let's do it. I don't know. Do you want to throw another no joke at me? Just, just a heads know. up. He, yeah. he is. No. He is. He is playing uh, Dead Space Two, which is. You know, pretty gory. So just heads up there. Yeah, the, it's not the that game, bad. The, the game, Why the not? game that the concept that artist had to look at fucking car crash victims to get the art right. Yeah, messed up. It's anyway, our our raid message will be uh, Cliff got eaten and whatever you want or Cliff Bar, anything like that. Cliff, Cliff Bar. Bar. Cliff, Cliff, Cliff Bar. Bar. All right, get out of here, everybody. What bar is Cliff. <laughs> See you guys next week. <laughs> Cliff. Bye bye.